That's, right. that's the clap. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the clap that says go. That was funny. You know what? It's the only time I've ever felt clap, where you clapped, and I didn't feel like we're actually started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do it. No, again. no, no. That's that's the beginning. No, oh, two. fine. That's it. Yeah. I'm just saying, I didn't feel it. Like I didn't yeah. Feel it. Usually, I feel a little bit of like change in the my mindset, mm. but yeah. maybe I'm just so relaxed now. You know, it's just. This is, we're just. You're, you're in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are comfortable. Yeah. We're it's just drivers life. now. Yeah, it's just life. Yeah, it's just life. It's like, yeah, it's like the first 16 times you got into your car after you got your license. <laughs> 17th time. It's just like, it's just life now. Yeah, now I just do this. Yeah. And that's fine. And then this is just facilitating that. This is what we talked about off screen, but this is the last time we'll be using Red Bull. Well, we'll be doing uh, not only Yeah, because of Cast D. <laughs> 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 do you watch? Did you watch the J1, Darren? The which one? The J1 episode? No, I didn't. No. I watched pieces of it. That's not true. That's so not you true. saw that's the, true. the Red Bull I saw thing. Pieces of it. I'm like just chewing on this. Is that too much? I don't know what. No, no. This uh, one has to be pretty close. Wh- That's which, which part were you referencing? Yeah, sorry? you're good. Where we read the uh, Red Bull yes. decline. I did yeah, read yeah. that. I did. I did see yeah. that. I'm and uh, I'm glad that it wasn't an AI. <laughs> I mean that you figured out. I kind of like that it was a <laughs> possibly a, a uh, person uh, that uh, you knew, an illiterate person, or not that maybe you knew. <laughs> yeah. <what I> <laughs> Even better. Because uh, they spelled your name wrong, didn't they? No, it's yeah, arrogantly, it's arrogantly, arrogantly it's wrong. It's arrogantly wrong, yeah. which is a good sign. But yeah. <laughs> uh, I dig that. Yeah. So, Darren, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, what? Sure. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. No, you don't. Nobody gets introduced. No, on no, no, no. But uh, you can introduce yourself. Real fan here. You can introduce I like yourself. That. He found it. Yeah. Uh, but we can do a would you rather then? Yeah, start with that. I'll put. Yeah, I'll, I'll put. Do, do you have a link to anything? Do you want me to link to? You. Me? Yeah, that I can yeah, put like it a plug. on the video, a plug. We'll, 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 plug, we'll plug at the end, I guess. Yeah, yeah plug at the end. We'll uh, plug at the a end. video, like for what kind of video? No, no, because I was like, I'll link to in the, in the comments for your Oh, Yeah, like your Instagram. But we'll do it at the end. Okay, yeah. That'll be closing thoughts. We'll do a would you rather. Yeah, let's, do, let's start with that. So I have a personal one. Ooh. Would you rather have a knife through your hand <laughs> or get your tooth pulled without any freezing? Like it's like a pure, like like your tooth is normal. Like it's just like they just go in and take like a <laughs> knife in my hand, in scissor, so like a just a regular f- so like, health, your, like your most healthy tooth. Yeah, and they just, just go in and take up. it out. And, and they gotta figure it out. Your most prized possession. Yeah, tooth. that's and easy. Just like okay, I'm gonna go in there. Yeah, and yeah. Then, like no aesthetic. No, nothing. Just or they got and they, so they, I think they would have to pry it out or they have to cut it out. I don't know how they do it. Like a tooth? Yeah, I don't know how they would do it. It might be. Have it you might ever had be a tooth pulled? Mm. I've had a tooth. No, I haven't. Oh, like no, I haven't. I haven't. Wisdom teeth. Oh, I've had wisdom teeth. I was knocked out. Yeah. So they had. I guess they have to do surgery, right? I don't think so. Well, a wisdom tooth is actually like underneath the skin, so that's that's a more a major surgery. Yeah, so they kind of knock you out, or they like freeze you, or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. knock yeah. you out usually. I think. Yeah, it's gnarly. Perfect. I mean, I I hate it. I think like yeah, losing like the idea of g- getting your tooth like yanked out of the inside of your skull and the yeah. sound and the feeling yeah. of it, and it, like the bone crunching, is kind of intense. Yep. Now, but what size of knife are we talking? Like, if it's just like a little like pocket knife, I'm like okay. So I got a steak knife. It's a little girl's steak knife. Yeah. Oh. I still take knife. the knife. <laughs> I I'll take the knife. I said you'd take a knife, but uh, I would. I no, having done the knife, I would yeah, take yeah. the knife. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the knife. I think I take the knife. I think I take the knife for sure. Yeah, but you know, but your hand is so useful that if it cuts a tendon or something, then well, it gets my like cut. Yeah, my okay, cut but is this a, yeah? Is this assuming your hand's fine after? That's true. So I, in my my hand was fine after. I cut a tendon though. Because I, I could live without a tooth. I mean, like as long as it doesn't get infected well, the thing and like, is kill my brain, then I mean, like okay, I'll like put that up, but then I have like I still a hundred percent hand. Because I got it right through a nerve and a tendon. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here, I'll change the question. But maybe a you're a mutant. Bit. Maybe you just maybe. heal. Maybe. I'll change it a little he's bit. But, but here's what he's I didn't think of. Like, yeah, stab your hand. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but here's what I didn't think of. So a year I was out of commission. Like Ooh, I couldn't use my yeah. right hand for a year. Right. And I had to get plastic surgery and then like a whole bunch of uh, physiotherapy. You couldn't you take your, your tooth out. Yeah, you're fine. In like okay, week. but okay, okay. But this is what I was gonna change. <laughs> right? What if it was a front tooth? <laughs> exactly. What yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. if it was a front tooth? Yeah, Ooh. you you gotta get it replaced. You pay some money. You gotta pay some money. No, right? but let's just say you couldn't. But you, ha- you could use your hand you for a year, plastic. or you didn't have a tooth in the front for a year. One year? Oh, you see, oh, so I say for you wait for a year. Yeah. Girls like that. I think I'd, I'd, I'd lose my hand. You think you lose your hand? I think I'd go tooth for not a year because I can get it replaced. No way. And it's not like gonna mess up my life. And it's like there's a story. But then you're the guy that doesn't story. have a. T- I don't, like I said with the ear thing, same thing with the ear thing. I don't want to be the guy that doesn't yeah. have a tooth, even if it's for a I year. I think so. I think it seems okay. No, it does. I, okay, so no. so I got my front tooth knocked out. Yeah. And um, it was punched out, and then uh, it got put on with like the whatever they put cavities in. Right. And then they screw it in, and then it was coming off when I was in Europe, and I really hated it, and I could like turn it around. 
So there was like a gap. Uh, so you could you could turn your tooth? Half of it. So like the bottom half. <gasps> was it like a... Uh, did you feel it? What is that when they, yeah, uh, they I put hated a screw it. in there and then they put thing on top of it that uh, yeah, like insert? Yeah, because it's into the screw, right? So it's, it's turning on the screw. Oh. Now, was yeah. it was the tooth sc- on, was the tooth spinning on the screw, or is the screw like spinning in your jaw? Like no, like I couldn't exactly feel it. I couldn't feel the, oh, okay, the that's screw. Good, that's good. Yeah, I was. I think the tooth. In, like, hey. Yeah, I think the tooth is loose on the screw, and it had uh. come up, come off. And what is it now? Was that your fine? party trick in Europe? You're like, hey, girl. No, it's a veneer, a fake tooth. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Which one was it again? Oh. Hey, you can't even tell. No, it's not bad. Can't even tell. Not bad, but it costs like three grand. It's expensive, but like that's what you're gonna have to replace yeah. here. This in this, would you rather? No, I definitely would. Three uh, grand after. M- a year. I'd lose my hand for a year. Yeah, you'd yeah. lose your hand for a year. Hundred percent. No, and I'm you're a physical, like you're a, you're a, a physical trainer though. Yeah, I still fitness lose my trainer. Hand. Yeah, but I care about appearance you're, you're too much. <laughs> 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 but that would don't you think that would ruin you, your physical training wor- no. way worse than losing a tooth? No, well, you'd be doing one-handed push-ups. Yeah, I one-handed could coach. Uh, like pull-ups. I, I don't mean, use either hand yeah, when I'm coaching now. I think I think I got a little ambidextrous when I got a knife through my hand. Yeah, there you go. I'm Grade here. seven, twelve, thirteen. You're in, you're <coughs> thirteen years old when it happened. Yeah. So like peak, like <coughs> I was really in season. And yeah, you're yeah like peak. One handed down. Yeah, like but I learned. Down. I learned. No problem. And left hand. Yeah, like no problem though. Days. No problem. You ever try? Like you ever try to jerk off with your left hand? It's, it's good. fucking weird. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> it's so weird. It's I've like done it. Yeah, you guys, you, you use your mouse as one hand. Because you know you what? Guys you switch the mice? hard part is I don't know the the pressure. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know there I mean? you go. It's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. Why is it purple? I don't. I could. I could place this hand perfectly. Exact pressure I need. This one, I'm like playing around. I'm like, too much. You know that, r- that reminds <laughs> me though. So, so I was with a co- I, saw, I saw a comedian on the weekend, Andrew Santino. Nice. Oh yeah, how was great that? Great comedian. Oh, yeah, he's fantastic. Great. Do you know Andrew Santino? Ooh. Don't know him. He's got his own podcast, Red Rocket. Show Red Rocket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Red Rocket. We'll take him in this. Oh yeah, hundred percent. We'll saw him live. Uh, but there was a an, a comedian before that, that came on. Yeah. Who was? Who was talking about? I can't remember his name, hmm. but uh, he was an opener, so he's nobody. Well, Shout, out that yeah. <laughs> Shout out that guy. Shout out that guy. But uh, <laughs> he was talking about how up there. <laughs> when you're having sex with a woman, a lot of times she has to be choked. Yep. And then they're like, but men, men, because they, they got to want to look manly, they never say no. But a lot of times they don't want to do it. Right. And I've just said no. Oh, really? Have you guys? Have I've you choked. Been, you've choked? Yeah. I've, I've done it one time. And then after that, you I was don't like, like no, it? I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I like Cause it. Because like you said, I don't know how, how tight to do it. or I don't. I like it. <laughs> 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 like getting or doing? Uh, I, uh, have you had anyone choke you? Yeah. 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 And what do you, what do you feel with that? Um, well, it's weird because I never asked for a choke. <laughs> you Whoa. just got me too. Yeah. That's what I mean though. Like <laughs> I've never asked for the choke. The choke is, the choke comes. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. Like, it just comes. Someone just Same person you. that likes yeah. being choked wants a choke, but right. I've never been like, choke me. But it's okay. So have you ever said no to the choke? No. When you got choked? No. Well, have you ever wanted to? I've never to? said no to hitting either. To getting hit or both? Both. Uh, both. I've never oh. got hit. I've never got hit. I've, I've been hit. I've g- girls wanted to choke me, and I said no to that, too. Uh, I've never been asked. I was never asked, like, hey, do you want to get choked? Now it's you just, know how I'm going to choke you now. I, mean, now I know how women no, feel. No, but I've is. never choked without being asked, though. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when Not I choke Not now? It. Not even now? Since it's your, like, regular Oh. Thing? Taking your mic no. Down. Oh. No. Oh, the choking thing um, is The hitting... <laughs> above, 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 above yeah, like face uh, hit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, face but like hit. I control. Yeah, face hit. Wow. But controlled. What do you mean? Ass, you, could, ass. you don't even know how to jerk off with your left hand. How are you control? I only <laughs> use my right hand when I'm hitting. <laughs> I never hit with my left yeah, hand because like, I don't know the, you don't know the pressure. Yeah, yeah, I don't know the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't leave us a southpaw in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Switch stances. <laughs> oh shit! Oops, sorry. Oh, that's uh, gnarly. I don't know. That's you, you don't like the choking thing? If she no, asks for it? No, because, yeah, it just feels uncomfortable. Like, I don't... But if you're in that, like... It's an intimate moment, not a not No, a but see, that's the thing. When, yeah, mm. but see, that's that's the thing, right? Like, Oh, yeah, you got to know, like, she does the crowd. But yeah, read the crowd. Yeah, well, but right. if, if, if she's asking to get choked... I'm the crowd, choked, though. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm the crowd and the performer. If she's asking to get choked, it's not just, like, an intimate moment. You're, like, you're... Yeah, but they don't particularly say, like, oh, choke me. Or sometimes, I guess, like, they kind of do, but there's, like, kind of a flow to it, isn't there? I don't think choking is a flow thing. I think you gotta. Do you gotta say it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna go there, choking I is mean like a verbal cue. I don't think you can. Uh, I mean, I guess you can grab the hand and put it on your throat. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you or no, ask. but or if they ask, you know what you do? You do the hot like <laughs> up their chest, up to the neck. Really slow. Yeah, yeah, slow. Slow you play. Just it, hey? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just teaching the people. Intimate yeah. chokes. Then they cry for help. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's part of the role play. <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> yeah, how do you know? How do you know when to stop? <laughs> No, but I, I do like like if I'm in the mood, I like it. Yeah. Hmm. What's in the mood? Okay, tell me. Explain to me your mood. Uh, <laughs> what's your mood? <laughs> no, but like if I'm if, <laughs> if if she wants to get choked, like we're like in a mood where it's yeah, you're oh, like it's like it's a stage it's like room, a, man. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. whole stage is the whole crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's a like it's, it's a, a mood one of those you're nights. In. It's a Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting yeah, crazy. That's right. Every second Sunday. <laughs> Every second Sunday. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. The other one we go to church. That's right. I gotta ask <laughs> for once forgiveness for God every second Sunday too. For yeah, BDSM. once for me, once for God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good for you. That's uh, very rhythmic. That's so, moral of the story is I'd lose my hand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to bring it all back. Yeah. To bring it all back. No hand. Yeah. Darren, you're the third painter we've had. Third painter. Third. third. Okay. Jay. I wouldn't consider. Oh, Aaron. that's right. Yeah, Aaron. Oh, you wouldn't consider great. yourself. Oh, do you know uh, Don't put me in the class of those two. I no. Mean, that's insane. <coughs> that's insane. I. I. That's. Uh, that's very kind of you to say that. I mean, yeah, but it's yeah, more yeah. by uh, situation and, and fluke of me being here rather uh, than my, my talent being on their level. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, they're, they're fascinating talents. They're good. Fascinating. They're good. And they're like very surging. different. Like Jay, like right now, is on a whole other level. And he's like in this, he's found this cut and yeah. he's just like in this look and it's, and he's just a monster. Yeah. Like yeah. he just like produces oh, he, he so much work him, so yeah. quick so much i've work sat i've sat like with him before just drinking and then uh just watching him work and he just busts his paintings out that are very intricate and very complex that's cool oh, like 10, 10 so 15 complex. minutes i love i love, it'd be sweet I love this complexity was going that's what i was doing yeah yeah like drinking. smoke some weed <laughs> <laughs> <Drinking, yeah. laughs> so did you have to give that up now too like watching uh, jay paint you like yeah i actually haven't hung like out with him in like a, a painting or art setting in a while a really nice guy interesting maybe he'll want to do a an we uh, talked about uh, doing another book, yeah. You guys going to do another yeah, book? Yeah, we talked about doing another book. Oh, good. What would you call his painting? We were talking about genres last time. Oh, yeah. Um, acrylic. Acrylic? I think that's what he uses, right? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not that... But, like, uh, style. No, yeah, I know that's what you mean yeah. in terms of style. And, I mean, yeah. I don't want to... Like, it's... um. Well, it's realistic, and then it's like dream worldy. Yeah. And this like pop culture and these like references. Well, pretty much like what Jay said. Yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. See, you're real artist. You know, because I have a, I have a point here. Because you're. I would have said colorful. Oh, because I'm not. It's not very colorful. It is a lot of black work. Yeah, it's not very colorful. There you go. Well, it's dark. I mean, like the tone and the themes feel dark, even though. Do you think he'd paint something for me to write with? Uh, well, I think he'd ask you for money. Something for you to write with. What do you mean write with? Yeah, I want to write mean? something on one of his oh, pictures. Oh, I think you can just do oh. that. Oh, I can just, just do it. Just go to his Instagram and, and ask him if you can write one of his. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I've done. I've done that. Like I've oh, done okay. that to other people. I'm practicing um, writing. It's a good. It's actually oh, a congratulations. It's mm-hmm. actually a good move. Just go to other Instagram people who like their, you like their art and ask them, hey, can I use this and then write a poem to it? And usually they're pretty excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'll yeah, because it's a way to kind of you know they're gonna share it and they're, they're gonna get people to see your stuff. So oh. what kind of poems do you write? Like, just whatever. Start with haikus. Yep. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just I just finished the one the that rhythm as I get older. Like that I don't five seven five right. Six yeah, yeah. Four, yeah, yeah, five, yeah, seven, no, five. So I, yeah, yeah. But I just wrote one. Nine fifty seven. The stranger I knew forever. I think I did. You just post that one. That's yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so I already read that one. Just yeah, the dead yeah. one. Yeah. The I don't know if I I didn't try to do <laughs> syllables or anything. I was just like yeah, writing sometimes you just have yeah, oh, yeah. No form. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Just trying shit. Yeah, good for you. he's inspired me to try it. Yeah. That's good. It's fun to do. Yeah. It's fun to do. But I was going to ask you because because I was curious what you thought his genres were, and we're really into genres. Okay, we we're talking about okay. genres all last time. Love it, mm-hmm. love it. And you're really into film. Correct. I know Perfect. That. Correct. Yeah. So, do you know the difference between magical realism or why these are not the same genres? Okay. Magical realism, surrealism, and science fiction. What's because what, they're all kind of like supernatural or like kind of odd or weird. Well, what's the difference between odd and surreal? So you have yeah, what, yeah. what are the three? So you have science fiction. Surrealism. surrealism and magical realism. Magical realism. realism. So, what would be a ma- what would be an example <coughs> of magical realism? So, Harry my Potter? example I use is like uh, uh, Charlie Coffin movies. Charlie Coffin movies. Yeah. Oh, Harry correct. Potter. The syndicate, syndic- 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 or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's okay, like so that's like, like in itself, in itself, in itself, in itself. Like. Yeah, that's not the reason. It's more because like magical realism is like almost exactly like oh, life, like but you a say little like bit of a. Like the tiny Would you say like magic. Michelle G- Gondry? Yeah, like, yeah, like but that? he does. He, I think Michelle Gondry did two Troy Coffin movies. Oh, he did those. Yeah, he did Eternal oh, Sunshine. Because like Sinexky is his directorial okay, debut. Okay, cool. Right? So that's Some magical realism. realism. Yeah, and then surrealism. Yeah. So that's like what David Lynch kind that's of. That's right. Like you're more like. Oh, yeah, David like Lynch. Real, yeah, like really out there's. 
So there's like kind of a story, but not really at all because it's like kind of interpreted, but it's just like full of imagery and like yeah, yeah. super dreamy, but kind of weird. Dreamy is the word, yeah. The, the that's a good word. That's why the so magical realism, that's a distinction there. That's why, like I said, dreamy is magical realism is real life, but a little tiny taste of a difference. Okay, like so it's like basically the same as life, but there's a little bit magic, then okay. you don't explain it. So then mm-hmm. well, I don't. And I surrealism s- is dreamlike, almost like a but I, then s- I d- psychological. Dreamlike is, that's a really good word, but I, that's why I, d- I still don't get why Wes Anderson's not surreal. Because h- h- these are just too. No, he's too literal. Yeah, too literal. Yeah, that's too, too literal? Too word, yeah. Way too literal. That's Man, the guy has like, there's no magic. <laughs> it's all like real. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all odd. Like, that's it's where that's where But it's very odd. We're calling it odd, but not none of those three. It's still just drama. It's It's like drama with. With an accent of his flavor, but it's still just drama. So sur- surrealism is uh, not just although odd. Although I would maybe say maybe Grand Budapest could be a little surrealish. Yeah, it's almost there. That's why I'm like, what I'm about like, the, that's like the, the cakes question. and everything? Like, no, yeah. but yeah. those the colors and, and stuff. Yeah. But, but the like one, the the the, 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 the one we like, the aqua. I, I did like what you said though. You're like, what if we asked Wes Anderson? What do you think he would say? And I was like, he could say it's surreal or magical realism. He could say, I don't know. But so what about the opinion? life aquatic? I think to me no. Seems I think like no. I think it, I think, oh, I think there's just I there's just like an one. interesting distinction where it just seems like odd but too like literal. Uh, I like life the word. aquatic though. Yeah. Have Ooh. you seen that, that recently? Seems, nah, life aquatic. I mean, they are. It's kind of a little yellow submarine-ish, you know, the Beatles. Yeah. Like it does. Ha- it does yeah. like it does get veer, on that like it does veer into surrealism. I right. I, I agree with you. Like it does have that. He just kind of bends the bow a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah, into right. it, right? But to me, genres are very like feeling based though, and to me, it doesn't. It doesn't quite feel feel like it like mm-hmm. that because genre's just like no. oh you can just you can just feel it like that's it isn't it right. but it's odd so I I, I want to say it's not a regular straightforward movie mm-hmm. but it's odd so would you put him in magical realism or because it's not you, magic really, enough I, it, that's the whole I point still, I still don't think it's yeah I still don't think it's quite there interesting hmm. but it's yeah, they're very they're very all so what would you put it under then I think just like a regular drama that's that has his very unique and distinguished flavor. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's g- like yeah. his color palettes and everything. It just has it's a whole thing that's very unique to him. Mm. But I mean, something like P.T. Anderson, like he has a very unique right feeling too when you watch his movies. H- one right. of his um, movies made my top ten of uh, the decade. <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> top ten decade. This would be interesting. Top ten. Oh, I got it all written down. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, you did. Oh, you did some notes yourself. Okay. Oh, I'll probably we'll probably have some hot takes in this then. Yeah. Oh, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Which the master? The master. What well, I like that one. Yeah, the master is that really the one good. where he made a cult or something? Philip made a religion. Yeah, yeah, Philip yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Joaquin. Well, it's based <laughs> off a Dianetics guy. Like, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. It's based on the Scientology guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. So it's like, I mean, loosely ish, whatever. And yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably uh, loose so without like getting sued because they're Scientology go hard in the paint on. I now that's probably a hot take to be a top ten. Hey, that was like a mixed. I think probably that is a hot take, but yeah, I I could see that. It was a beautiful movie. One of my favorite scenes. It's actually an outtake, and I posted it recently. They're doing, they're smoking the cools in the in the boat. I think it's mm. on the boat. It's been a while. And he goes, me. ah, cool, so minty, fresh. And he keeps smoking them, but they keep laughing. It's an outtake. It's like a three minute outtake, and it's just so like you can feel their energy together, and they're just oh, having a good right. time, and they're just enjoying because they keep letting letting them putting them out, letting them putting them out, and they're probably fake cigarettes, but yeah. yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman was he was a master. Yeah, that, that was his last great movie <coughs> like really i mean like I yeah think he it had was, i think it was like that one he did another one that where he was a uh, cia FBI, agent yeah, CIA, right? yeah, yeah not CIA. that good yeah it was good it was okay but, but I mean, it was like but he, he, was he, he, he was dead he was <laughs> dead and i was watching it and i was like wasn't he in like an adam sandler movie before he died <laughs> yeah, no no punch drunk love oh, huh? punch drunk yeah, love yeah, anderson, yeah okay pt anderson yeah but no 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 right. but no you're thinking of along came paulie no no some groundhogs or something like that i don't pull up his list okay demanding <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the list. <laughs> Yo, Jamie, where are you at? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so the master PT Anderson, great. Okay, and then the last one was sci-fi, correct? Yeah. We had magical realism. Yeah. Magical realism. Yeah. So surreal, what's the, what's the distinction there? Sci-fi. Okay, and then sci-fi. Oh my God, sci-fi is magical, but it's like magical in the technical sense usually yeah. because it's like using technology to then like expand, you know, the like universe and humanity and blah blah blah. Yeah. But it still acts as magic, but it's tech. Yeah. So what are the similarities between all of it? I don't know. Well, uh, so the distinction for sci- science fiction is that there's an explanation. An so explanation. magical realism surreal will have no explanation. Surreal is more dreamlike, but magical realism is like more literal. But it has some, some, something that's unexplained or magical. Okay. So like Santa New York has that, has that uh, warehouse that's in New York, but it's the same size as New York, in, an, in New York. Right. 
So it's like, it doesn't make any sense. But they just, you just take it as fact. It's just what the world is. Science fiction actually tries to explain the weirdness. Right. Using some kind of technical or science thing. So like, for example, <coughs> like anything in the future, I guess, would just they would try to explain it somehow through some kind of futuristic scientific advancement. Yeah, like the world has to be real. <coughs> like, it has to be believable, right? I mean, like the yeah. rules within that space, you know, kind of have to... Like all makes sense. Yeah, like it's if not you put this up, there's no gravity and everything should start lifting. Yeah, it's not asking you to suspend your belief. It's saying take us for that if science were to progress this way. Yeah. Here's what it is. And what's the similarity between all three of those things? Uh, not similarity. I was just wondering what the difference is. Similarity is pretty clear. It's just a bit. Oh, okay, okay. What are the differences? Yeah. Wow. I'd say this one, like science fiction is hard literal because yeah. i mean it would take like you said science yeah so and to like make the magic happen yeah surrealism is dreamy so it's yeah. not real it's like of the sub it's like it's subconscious essentially right? yeah, that's yeah. like whatever you're dreaming subconscious is. is a big yeah, part yeah, yeah, of yeah. it it's dreamy it's or subconscious it, it or almost like assumes hallucinating itself. or some some kind of psychology in there or like you're trying to tell somebody about like more of a psychological right thing. yeah and so there's a lot less direct <laughs> communication with it because i can't go in and be like oh i'm gonna talk to you yeah. in a dream state yeah but a dream can talk to me yeah you know what i mean like yeah it's very interpretive inter too. interpret that yeah. interpret that is up to me i mean but it's only my interpretation of it and terrence malik you guys like look terrence malik very surreal but is he surreal because he's actually literal but using so surreal ways uh, right surreal right like in malik again what is he doing uh again? so he oh, i have to see. i'm s i'm so bad with names i'm so he sorry is, uh, this, uh, okay. this doesn't make it for bad i'm just no it's uh He's, a, I'm thinking of one. The Tree of Life is, a, is okay. He has a brand yeah. new movie out right now, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Hidden, Hidden Life. Life. But I actually oh, okay. haven't I watched it in a while. I haven't watched it in a while. So the last one I watched, okay. you're right. Was I so I watched To the Wonder. Knights of Cups. I don't think Knights I've actually. Cups I actually don't think I've watched his movies since. So I watched the first all four of these. So uh, Badlands, Day of Heaven. I've watched Badlands, Day of Heaven, The Thin Red Line, New World, and Tree of Life. But then after Tree of Life, I don't know. I just haven't. Yeah, but well he's almost really surreal and dis like everything's disconnected. But it's literal. But he's using surreal ways to tell stories. So, so true. Very close up uh, shots. Uh, very, very heavy like music video ish stuff. Yeah. Um, you can't really tell. You really have to interpret the stories. But mm. is they're meant to be interpreted literally, not quite like surreal. But he's using those kind of techniques, I think, mm -hmm. of discontinued stories. But it, he's he's I think a theater person. I I can't really watch him at home. They really take a lot of focus. Yeah. Well, they're deep. <coughs> deep but uh, Brad Pitt the tree life that was, that was a good movie yeah that's I the only one I've seen I like that yeah, one I saw Night, tree life? Night of Cups yeah. I hated it very disconnected right I think I might need to rewatch you have it, to you, like you have to really be in the mood for that kind of stuff right because like tree life there's not a lot of literal story mm -mm. very big cuts into like universe and stuff yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like and it's like the story the literal story is just like about a man getting older right or a man's right. life oh no no he's just a kid and it's like his dad I, I can't remember the exact but it's like an experience. He's got to like, like a very big experience. Over you. That's why I was and saying it's like, like a theater movie. Terrence yeah. Malick's but you you explain guy. it. Yeah. You explain surrealism uh, before, like uh, where it's real <laughs> life, but there's something odd about magical it. Magical right? realism. It's magical realism. And so that's magical. Oh, realism. oh, okay. oh. yeah. No, I actually think I was using them interchangeably too much. In the last oh, one. I see. Yeah, uh, I think I think I was doing that. I don't know why I was doing that. It's John Wick. John Wick won one of those. Yes, John Wick. Would that be would that be magical realism? Back into John Wick. <laughs> would that Man, be the first so half good. of that movie? So I was good. like, oh my god, this is, is that, so okay. good. So the first half of the first one, yeah, would that be like some kind of realism where it has this assumption that you just mm, know no, what's going on? No, it's very on? comic booky in the or not comic booky, <coughs> but I mean like it's it's real, like it's all very literal. But I mean it's also like there's a weird in the sense that like you're. You're fighting ninjas and you're like, shooting a mm -hmm. hundred guys like with one pistol. Like, but there, oh, but there isn't a, isn't there an element of realism to it in that they like don't they count the bullets and like they do stunts that are like that's true literal like that yeah could they're be not done, they're you know, trying to explain stuff right yeah yeah they I don't see I see yeah but I mean but it is very it like comic book in the sense of like you know it's like who's a it's, it's a hitman that's like well I find it very it's like comic book a where cabal it's not of yeah. like rich other hitmen and you just like do all this like kind of crazy stuff and stay in these like crazy hotels like right it'd be like who knows maybe, maybe that stuff does happen <laughs> in these like mega cities I mean, yeah like, you know, right right, like, right. I think knows? it I think it is comic book in the sense that it's like a slightly different universe that's correct that's what yeah I, that's what I mean by a slightly different that's what that's I mean a better, okay, so that's a better <laughs> explanation because comic book people go Marvel yeah you know what I mean and they're like what no there's like because like it's our universe there's no magic. Mm -hmm. uh, in a sense, it's just it's just a different universe with different people and slightly different rules. Um, not even different mm -hmm. rules, same rules, but if like say, 
It's there's, otter. There's superheroes yeah. or something like yeah. that, right? Well, ex- yeah. Because because it's not magic. It's just they're trying to explain superheroes through like a mutant or something like that. Right. Yeah. So it's our universe, but Fair a little enough. bit different, but not quite magic. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Cool. Favorite movie of the decade, though, is that what was your number one? You know, what? I hate calling it number one. I had to do it in <coughs> number one. Yeah. I had to do it. I Did had it. to do it in. Uh, yeah, in the order. Yeah, order yeah. from uh, 2019 to uh, 2010, and then I just <laughs> and then I just did it alphabetical order. I mean, like, well, so, so you did each your best one of each year, or or did you just do ten of the decade? I can't remember. I did one from each year. I've, I was okay. I was thinking about mixing it up, but I would it would do a disservice to those other years. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it doesn't necessarily make it for all the best movi- movies make it necessarily, right. but I mean. Like when I pick my best, I mean it's like anything; it's subjective, and it's like what <coughs> kind of means something to me at that moment yeah. in, my in in time, right? So right. I mean, like technically, maybe it's the best, you know what I mean? But also, like the story and the spirit of it is like the best too, right? Yeah. Because I mean, it's uh, it's important to kind of experience those feelings in it, right? And um, so going back, I'm like, you know, you need to have one, and it's interesting because then you get to watch the kind of like the gradient progression of the years, right? Yeah. And you're like going back and looking at the themes that uh you know resonate now or just have like different you know different meaning now and you're like oh my god or like say their um career trajectory yeah and yeah. you're like man they were so hot and they were gonna be so crazy and it's like yeah yeah who's an example of that someone who who uh, whiffed I, me darren aronofsky i i agree s- who's that one somewhat but but uh I feel like that's black, swan. Swan. black swan black swan uh he did oh like a writer a writer yeah okay. director record for a dream yeah record Rec- Rec- yeah. for a dream yeah okay. he's record for a dream uh he but he's just had a. Actually, no, Noah. I didn't like. Uh, Did you see Noah? Yeah, you're Noah. church guy. Noah's hey, you're, you're going to church on Sundays. You must have seen Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck church. Uh, yeah, no, I've seen Noah. Uh, uh, the but uh, mother. W- I actually. Really I like, like Moses I better mother though. Oh uh, yeah. So I don't. I, I don't know. Too, I don't know if you. So you liked know. Mother. I love you guys mother. Like mother. I love yeah. Mother. I did I not like it. it. I don't even like horror I think movies. We're the only two people, you, me, and maybe Dan. Oh, I did maybe. not like uh, it. That only like that movie. Yeah. Everybody else. I, is I, like I, it. I did not it like was, it. It was yeah. very. Yeah, it was very. I uh, like that type of movie. I felt like it was very. Uh, it, it was too boring for me to the lead up. I just didn't. I didn't care did by the end. Did you see it in theater? No. So, I, so that might be it. Because because it was I, to me, I was hooked. The whole yeah, thing. I thought it was yeah, very. See, I wasn't. I thought it was like I don't. Remember, I like that kind of movie. Slow moments. I remember it being pretty. No, see, oh, I found it so, so like I liked. Uh, it reminds me a little bit like Witch, where I'm like okay, watching yeah. this progression of something, and it's, I know it's leading up to something cool. I really liked Witch. This one just, I was just like, okay, 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 mm-hmm. and then th- by the end, I was like, I don't even care about this anymore. Mm. Yeah, but I thought I, I thought like it, it. it gets such a high like octane energy near the end, doesn't it? Like it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't let off. but oh, I just don't care by that. Like it, ca- it, like it comes. Like I explained it, like a slow moving tsunami. Yeah, you know what I mean that's just like starts, and then it just keeps getting worse and, and worse and, yeah. and worse and worse, and there's no let up, and it's just this constant that's pressure. That's, that that's what I'm that saying. That's a very yeah, confused by you saying it. it's like got boring near the end, and like you just weren't. You no, like, like I felt like it started, and I was like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna like where this is going, and then I felt like it. See, I didn't feel that. Yeah, maybe I'll rewatch it. But speaking of which, did you see the new his new movie, Lighthouse? Yes. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Who's did you yeah. see who's that? Yeah. Who's new movie? Uh, the I don't guy. Know the director's no, no, no. It's the guy who did uh, the reason oh, I witch. heard about it. Witch. The guy who did Witch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually I liked I've seen it. the Witch, and I don't like did scary you see movies, but I like I like the Witch or Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Oh yeah, I saw. <laughs> did you like it? Loved it. Yeah, I haven't I seen it yet. I thought it was really good. It, it, it's in top five one of be- uh, William Dafoe's best performances of all time. I'm putting it up there. Even that Robert Patterson guy. You want to see a hot take? That's my hot take. Is William Dafoe's top five? Performances of all time in Lighthouse, and I mean, you think of his. Robert Patterson is very underrated too, though. Oh yeah, Robert but he, okay, he's doing a lot of good movies now. Speaking though. of yeah. Lighthouse, it was like to me, it was like two ships in the night, where like you know, uh, William Dafoe is like entering the like later years in his life, you know, yeah. like you know, hopefully he has like you know more than none, yeah, but he's yeah. definitely on the back nine. Is he, uh, Whereas like Robert 16? Patterson is now like you know kind of entering that right because yeah. he's like what twenty nothing or like late twenties, early yeah, 30s. probably yeah. late twenties, yeah. But yeah. what do you think? And, what do you and, think? And he's like he's in a beast. Sixty and he. Defoe, if I had to guess, I'm going to say 63. I'll say 64. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, going in. 64. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I wasn't nice. going to guess because I feel like Fucking you guys got good, good, good numbers. Game too. That's good. That's, that's <laughs> a good guess. Yeah. That's a great guess. Cheers for that. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but it's on my list. If you list. said 62, I would have said 63. I'm going to go see uh, <laughs> Uncut Gems tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, at the Princess. Yeah, Princess. Which yeah. one's that one? Uh, the that's uh, the that. Safdie brothers. They did. Uh, oh, uh, that's the Adam Sandler, Kevin Garnett one, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I their heard last mixed things yeah, about shout that. Out KG. I actually haven't watched anything else but his Safety Brothers, but I watched uh, mm-hmm. the one with Robert Patterson last year, or like two years ago or three years ago. Was that Good Times? Good Times, really oh, good. Oh man, Good Times so was good. an underrated movie. Yeah, yeah. Underrated very quiet. Things. Hey, nobody really talked about it. No, I went. I went. I saw, speaking one. of which, I saw that one in the theater. <coughs> and that that's still that movie still messes me up to this day. Yeah. That that's. Have you seen it? No, I have not seen it. Oh, really good. Yeah. 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 Plug your ears. Okay. <laughs> it's very. It's very like nonstop. Oh man, like, it's and okay. And you it's can like, say whatever you say. Like so tight, and he's yeah. just this like tweaked out like m- meth head or something. Yeah, and yeah. he's just like going through all these crazy d- situations, and he's trying to find his like his handicapped brother. And you could say the same thing. It's very, very much like a tsunami that builds and builds, and it doesn't oh, let off. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I like heard, good, I heard, uh, like uncut gems, same s- thing. Really? Same thing. It's just, it just, it's just like one thing after another of him fucking up and getting in worse, and like he's trying to like rob Peter to pay oh, Paul, I love it. and I love it doesn't stop, and he just keeps fucking up, and it's just kind of like this complicated. Well, those guys have a future because I mean, like, if the, if if it, that's good times <coughs> and this is their second one, Uncut Gems, man, they're like, like we'll buy see s- how buy unc- stock in them. Unc- Uncut Gems had a pretty mixed. Uh, really, I thought it had a pretty good good. Uh, it was like one I'll of the biggest Oscar snubs of the year. <coughs> was it? Yeah, From Adam Sandler got snubbed. Uh, but I mean, I don't trust Ron. Did you see his tweet? Ninety-one percent of Ron Tamales. Did you guys? That's no, but uh, check the. Oh, oh yeah, I did see his tweet. Very check classy. The, one of them Very is classy. off though. Viewers or one of them are off. Uh, but I did see him in a suit. I viewers, like, you can never trust. Like, don't trust IMDb. IMDb is bad. Don't look at IMDb. No, no, Rotten no, Tomatoes. I, yeah, Rotten oh, Tomatoes. No, I do not look at Rotten. Tomatoes. No, no. So oh, I, tr- so I trust Rotten Tomatoes in two things. If it's over it's ninety, I trust it. If it's under like forty percent, I trust it. But if it's in between, because it, because it, it, that's only like oh, rotten see, or I'm not rotten, right? So I'm like, okay. it could be a variable oh, score. I don't know. I'm. I think it might be opposite of that. <laughs> I tend to look at if if critics really like something, yeah, but yeah. the audience doesn't like it. Yeah, I feel like something's up. Like what's up? Something. Uh, it might be a political thing or something. <laughs> you're, or just it might be of, you're just thinking of. Are you guys referencing hell? the <laughs> Doctor Who or no Doctor? What's that the TV uh, show that has like an eight percent uh, audience score right now? I don't the know. The new Doctor oh. Who season that oh, just came I out. Oh, maybe I haven't Doctor watched. Who. I watched Doctor Who, it. but I haven't watched. You it watch it? I've never yeah. ever watched Doctor Who, but this one's all. I've like never woke, seen it. So it's got yeah, like an eight yeah. percent audience score. Uh, it's too woke, eh? And they're just. Critics love it, or have you seen it? Yeah, you haven't. Seen I it. haven't seen the, mm. uh, but I didn't like the guy. I don't before, watch it, but I mean, but so. that's like, but that's what you're talking about. I mean, mm. there's a huge disparity. I don't know. Like I see, yeah, but see, I don't know if like, I definitely don't like super woke stuff, but I don't know if that's a really woke thing. Like, like Watchmen. Have you seen Watchmen? I've heard that one. It's a bit woke, right? I want, I want that kind of woke. The show, uh, but I, but I only watched the three show. Episodes. Yeah, I only watched two episodes. I haven't watched the show. I've seen bored. the movie. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, I I've, I've, movie. I've, I've seen the movie and read the book. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen the show. But I watched three episodes of Watchmen, and I was like, I don't see any superheroes yet. So mm. turn off. Yeah, I don't I'm know. If that, see, I <laughs> don't know if Doctor Who. I want to give Doctor Who a chance because I don't know if people are just saying it's woke because it's a woman now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no oh, not. so that's no, they're not. No, they're not. no? It's like, Oh, it's so it's it's so it's so woke. But you have you watched it? I haven't watched it. But well, how do you know? Because I've watched <laughs> breakdowns. I've like listened to these guys yeah, and yeah, the yeah. breakdowns of it. Yeah, like, but I don't but know. That's why I'm like, okay. Uh, Plus, yeah. I'm not that big of a that's fan like of Doctor Who. I'm like, I don't even care. I don't want to spend. But Darren, if you're getting if you're getting your opinion from like people who hate woke stuff, that's like getting your opinion of Obama from Fox News. Like you're, you're gonna get people are gonna hate it. Yeah, you know? that's like getting your opinion about <laughs> anti woke stuff. Or from Trump from CNN, people. you know. Correct. You're not gonna get a. It's not gonna be you a. Just good watch it. Yeah, you should just. There's there's certain I woke things that I just don't <laughs> get. Like, did you hear about this? The uh, the director of James Bond said that James Bond could be black, but never a woman. <laughs> and people are getting really upset about that. Hmm. Now that kind of woke shit, just make your own. I don't know if he needs to be a woman. Yeah, I don't. I think that kind of woke shit. See, I feel like I feel like yeah. who he is as a person, he can definitely be black. Yeah, but he can't 100%. be a woman. Yeah, he can't be because he's a womanizer. Yeah, he has yeah. to be. That's that's yeah. who he is. He's a womanizer. His name's James Bond. Yeah, yeah. So I just feel like a, has to stay just make a new one. <laughs> I think so. I think like so. that kind of shit. I'm just like that's woke. I don't yeah, like yeah. that. The Doctor Who. I don't know. And you know what? To to a to an uncultured Canadian, yeah, British black men feel more British than British white men. <laughs> That's a hot dick. Ildris <laughs> Elba should be fucking James Bond. I vote for that. Do they not though? When you see a British black man talk, you're like, "That's a British man." Yeah, like 100%. that's a British man. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, and it feels more British than a white man. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, but the doctor. I don't know if you know anything about. Teeth. Yeah, I don't know if you know anything about Doctor Who, but the doctor always changes forms. Yeah, like every like few seasons. Yeah, like, yeah. Have, he like, so it's like, possible that this being could be a woman. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. So I'm I don't sure. know if people are getting on it because of that. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you yeah. watch it, let I'll me watch. Know. It, I'll let you okay. know. <laughs> so we'll we'll we'll, we'll exchange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not yeah, woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get our grams like, um, and then you message me being like
Like beep. So, it's already a thing. Soon, or it's already a thing already. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And you can yeah, exchange yeah. like you can all your social. You can charge somebody's phone by another phone. This yeah. phones that do yeah, that. Yeah, but you can charge. But can you? You can exchange. Well, yeah, you can. E- you can exchange uh, contacts or something. My, really? My, uh, I haven't heard of this. My yeah, yeah, yeah. got the bra- her his wife got the brand new uh, <coughs> iPhone. Yeah. And then just laid the old one on top of it, and then it just transferred. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like a thing, man. Magical realism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 science question. Science question. Science fiction. Fiction. Okay, yeah, wait a second, fiction. wait a second. So then science let's just say a I movie was made in, yeah. say, like 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's magical realism. Sure. But then in 50 years, oh, they'll do that we kind of sure. get there. Yeah, yeah. They'll it's not that. magical realism anymore? No, yeah, yeah, it still is. It still is. That's a good question, though. Uh, oh, good question. So if we go ahead 50 years and with like the tech that goes there and then looking back on it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still is it magical realism, realism anymore? Oh, my God. That's a great question. I too. think I think it still is magical realism because of the time. Because no, there's no, it's not trying to it's like explain, and right. that's the whole point. Is it's it's it, it just is. There's no explanation. It's just something magic. Right. Because you can do stuff with magic that you can do. We're always with technology, magic, right? <laughs> but no, but you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like you can fly with right. technology, right. and you can fly with magic. Right. Just because you can do both, you can fly with magic. Yeah, the planes. Planes, helicopters, whatever you no, want. No, with magic. Oh, magic. no, with magic. Magic. Oh, yeah. In real life. Superman. But you can't. Or uh, Mr. Uh, but that's different. Oh, Doctor Strange. Oh, you're talking like in a... Doctor in Strange. A, in a, yeah, Magical okay. realism, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, save, save. There's just like this... There's just Are a regular show and all of a sudden you can like, fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... I was actually thinking of Doc, or Marvel. Captain Marvel. Mm. He's He's magic. Captain Marvel the movie, if you want to talk about a woke movie. That one's a little woke. Was it woke? Is it woke? I, yeah, d- I watched I it. See. I didn't think it was woke. I, I watched it, it. I thought it was. Really? I thought it was like trying to tell me something. Uh, maybe you're tr- like, no, maybe you're on the you're on the lookout for woke. No, but I'm not. See, I'm, I'm very no. no I'm anti-woke. on the lookout for woke, and I'm lo- on the lookout anti-woke, for woke. anti-woke. Yeah. yeah anti-woke woke. <laughs> anti-woke <laughs> is just as annoying as yeah, woke. Anti-woke to me. woke. Let me let me ask your thoughts on before we move on. Mm. Uh, the Irishman. <laughs> this would be good. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I posted it. I went okay, okay, I it saw it too. Yeah, it you thought it sucked though. Sucked. I didn't think it sucked. Sucked. But it was it was a little long. <laughs> it was a little long. Yeah, that's <laughs> and like drag. It's a little long. I mean, I saw it opening day at the Metro. Yeah. Front row seats, and it just felt like one of his old timey like super long movies. Like you would think of yeah. like uh, Godfather or something sure. like old timey. And you got to think like Martin Scorsese's like what is he eighty or something yeah. like yeah. that. So I mean like so this to me was like. This was the cornerstone of it. I mean, I know it's it's like long. Yeah. Like people think it's long and it's boring because mm-hmm. it is kind of hard. I mean, especially watching that, you know, depending on your your system is at home on Netflix, like that kind of sucks. Yeah. But I mean, like, and like some people got kind of like twisted on the uh, de aging and all that kind of stuff. Right. But I mean, there was like a true relationship, I think, between like you know Pacino and De Niro and those two, like not only saying like goodbye and like hello as like uh, characters, but as like brothers. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, as their careers, like they're gonna die right. soon that's like that's so a good it was like so it was really sad mm. that i was like oh my god like not only are they sitting there being like hey yeah, goodbye, but they're yeah. like oh my god it is so i mean like that's a good perspective it, it well he watches movies at a different level <laughs> yeah, yeah like but, that no, but, but that's that's also the difference between theater and you're right watching it at home um because yeah. i watch it at home at like 9 oh, yeah, 30 right i like and I, I go to bed at like 11 right oh. and so like i'm like i didn't well, know like, i'm like if it's good i'll i'll i'm yeah. gonna stay but then that, like it hits like 11 i'm like oh, it's that's like i'm kind of over it come on joe pesci i mean joe pesci was a beast no 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 i know like, I, I but i just got bored i gotta be honest and i yeah. like Martin Sus- i actually like a lot i actually went and watched two days later tax driver and i was like man this is one of the greatest movies of all time oh but it's not that long it's an hour and 50 minutes no, but he makes i've seen Beautiful other movie, long movies though. that he does and i yeah, just yeah, i found this one a little like godfather drag. and casino i rewatched casino like, like within Fucking the last fantastic year. movie yeah both right? great yeah. you can easily watch the whole thing yeah. yeah and they're not slow i think there's just points where i felt like there's characters or scenes that don't really add up to the whole right. thing they're That's just kind of thrown in what it what it reminded me of is an is a director who is so big that he doesn't have people telling him what to cut anymore. Kind of like a George Lucas in like the you know the, the f- it wasn't that bad, oh, like but that. in the first hmm. three, uh, the first sequel or the yeah, second you sequel. Bring yeah, those out, Martin. He's yeah, like, yeah. Don't tell me what to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like there's so many <laughs> scenes he could have cut, and it would have been a more crisp uh, experience. Yeah, you're probably right. And then there's there's a scene where what what really brought me out of it because I think it's only like thirty or forty minutes into the movie, but where Robert De Niro takes that guy out. Out of the uh, market. Oh, that. Who's one of my favorite yeah. scenes? Who pushes his, his yeah, daughter? Yeah. daughter. Yeah, yeah. But the way his body moved was such an old man way, and he's supposed to be like forty-ish in there, right? And, he's, and it's supposed to establish. It's very reminiscent because there's scenes like that in almost every one of his movies. Yeah. To show the character's a tough guy. Yeah. But it did the opposite. It showed me that he was an old man moving like an old man. 
It's true. It's, it's, and it really brought me out of the movie, and I couldn't right, buy right, in right. after that. And so if you give me a scene that makes me dis- no longer believe the film, mm-hmm. and then I still got to sit through another two yeah. hours of it, it was just a very tough... But he probably views <laughs> that scene, if I were to guess how he views that scene, he views it as... Very classic He scene. appreciates... That he's tr- using the same character, trying to age him in different decades. And like well, that's just interesting. I mean, no, yeah. I, I take it with him that he did look old and clunky. Yeah. Like, right. you're like who's this like this old man with a young face on? And you're like, yeah, that's it weird. T- it was taking me and, a bit to get and into so it. And so I was like, right. okay, this is, but that kind of, I mean, like I come from a little bit of a theater background. So I mean, like, so right. it is a little stagey. And yeah. I mean, like, and so I can see where that would take you out. But you're like, I was like, eh, it, didn't, it didn't really bother me. But in fact, I mean, because of the me, subject yeah. matter of it, yeah. I mean, like, you know, he's protecting his daughter and he's yeah. like going to that d- level to do it. It's like, fuck yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. don't touch my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's a cl- very classic scene for Martin Scorsese. That kind of scene. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is it his best where one of like all time? Where it's like at a distance no, and there's I an mean. ass kicking happening. Yeah, yeah and yeah. It's, really, it's really setting the stage for what kind yeah, of guy yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah. He was sleeping down. Yeah, but... Yeah, and then there's uh, there's a lot of it that I that I just no, didn't feel. I and I, and I, when I w- when I think of Robert De Niro as a character, mm-hmm. uh, what's his name in the, in the movie? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that's that's man. a that's a very interesting that we know remember. But uh, yeah, because he's one a famous person. He's a real person. Uh, but what I d- what I got out of it is I didn't know who the character was, and it's kind of about him. And I didn't really get a sense of what he really felt about anything or right. who he was as a person. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that, and it's all about him, and it's also about. Uh, well, I di- and I didn't get why he was the way he was. Like That's what just I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. I didn't really like establish the war. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the like war a little like bit, but you like didn't. PTSD a bit. You didn't really get it from the war because it's almost like he he, he just kind of always had seemed it. like that. Yeah, he seemed like he was always like that, and so you didn't get a lot of like psychological depth. I felt right, but it was like with his so daughter. Like that's pretty psychological. He's like, oh my god, my daughter knows that I'm like murdering people. He didn't like, really seem like to be that affected by it. It didn't really seem to. You don't think so? I it mean was like very on a surface, like a cat. I, that's what I'm saying. I, I the only time I ever seen sure. him show emotion no. is when I'm his not sure. daughter I'm not wouldn't sure talk me. to Joe Pesci. That's what? the only time where I'm like, ugh, cringy. You l- didn't, you didn't like Joe Pesci? No, no, no. Uh, the only where I got feeling of who he oh, was. The bowling alley. Yeah, when oh, his God. daughter wouldn't, yeah, yeah. and he was like, you could tell he's like fucking upset about that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, he well, he's he's a gangster. Yeah, does. That's what he. That's what he bothers him. Yeah. When he shows the money, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's like, open up that book. What was it? A book? And she opens up. It's like a hundred dollar. Isn't there like money in the book or something? I don't remember. Yeah. Like, oh my god, he I don't know, he was terrifying. I do yeah, think I was. do think a seeing a movie in the theaters, first movie at home, mm-hmm. it, it's brings dying. It, it brings it brings it up. It brings it up like do it. half a point at least, just oh. just a theater I, experience. Yeah, but I think I Very think uh, I so think that really depends on the movie because there's certain no, movies no, that no. I could watch at home. I don't no think I don't think I think there's some movies that are that are near and it's it's still not as much lost, but it's always a better experience I think in a theater. I don't think that's true. Oh, one hundred percent is true. No I mean, okay, I would s- the <laughs> the movie going experience is the number one. I mean, like if you can watch any movie, like I say, on an IMAX, I'm gonna watch every movie on an IMAX. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the sound, with the screen, everything, even if it's not the full true seventy or shot that way or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, I've g- name me any movie and I will watch it on IMAX, and it may, will make a completely mm-hmm. different experience than like. It kind of reminds me of uh, cupping my hand over the little speaker and watching. Now, I mean, like, okay, well, now you're gonna argue me like story. Oh, well, the story should be engaging in this and that. Yeah. But I mean, like, I mean, the whole point of a film is that it's like all of the genres, right? It's right. music, it's sound, yeah, yeah. it's like voice, and it's like visual, and it's story. And so, I mean, so when you have those like giant bass cannons and sounds like you know mm-hmm. rushing through your body, it's like it. It's fucking can you can do that at home. You know I, mean? I, I think nobody. I ho- yeah, can you? I mean, like, I, I don't have that like cash flow. I mean, I, I, that's a goal. I mean. Th- 2020 home theater. I think <laughs> the basic fact is for focus. Like that's why it's that's so much true. better. You just can't focus on anything else in a movie. That's right. right, right, right. That's yeah. it. You just get this, and that's why you're gonna be so much more engaged with the film. But it is dying. No, you're right. I mean, like you're. you're I love you're going to movies. No, you're, no I know. You I love going alone. Uh, people do, yeah. but I, I love mean, going like alone. It's that's one of my favorite things. But it's gotta be dying, dying, right? For alone. sure, it's dying. Uh, yeah, like I it, it, it's changing for sure at the very least. But, but it's, it's gotta di- be. It's dying. Oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's gotta dying. be. Is it like dying or is it is it kind of like a radio thing? Like it's getting, it's worse, but it's not gonna die ever. Well, fully. I mean, like it gonna, might not ever die. No, you're yeah. gonna see like th- there's record numbers of people going to the movies. Yeah, yeah. But you're seeing more like experiences like your End Games or your other Disney movies yeah. that like prop up these numbers of like you know yeah. hundreds of millions, right. billions right. of dollars. Right. But I mean, and they basically also own the entire like theater in terms of like screens yeah so i mean like um so what was i getting at the point is is that um 
that you know people are only going to go to those like big movies yeah. right. and then all those other small ones like no fuck that I'm gonna that's true I'm watch it that's home. what I mean like but I'm not going to spend 14 well, yeah, bucks like people like only 50, go to the movies bucks. to see a certain movie rather what it used to be to me was was <coughs> going to the movies for me I'm opposite rather I'll, than I'll the maybe movies. I'll maybe download uh pirate <laughs> I'll pirate uh, like a, a superhero movie. Well, just pirate. when I when I I don't, when like I, movies, I don't really like so. them that much. So yeah. I'll watch them when it's just like a background thing or. Well, see, I'm like I'm a hook line and sinker on the superhero. I'm like I yeah. gotta see IMAX 3D. Yeah, yeah. Front row center. Are you big like, on superhero movies? Uh, I appreciate them f- appreciate them for what they are. Yes. You don't find them just like uh, amusement parks? Who said that? Uh, Scorsese. Scorsese. Yeah, Scorsese. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. They, that's what they're supposed to be. I mean, yeah. they're a comic book. I right. Mean, like, exactly. When you like when you read comic books and you're like looking at you know the explosions and the scale and the you know the gadgets and the guns and the magic and all yeah. that type of stuff and you're seeing it on the page, you're like, wow. And then that's cool. But wouldn't it be cool if you could see it on the screen? Yeah. Lo and behold, science fiction comes along and they're like, oh yeah, remember that thing that was super cool on a piece of paper? On a piece of paper? Like now look at this. Yeah, yeah like, that's and, true. And then when you have like a generation who grew up on that, like you know other generations did too, but you know grew up on that and then like you know now entering their like you know late third or early 30s you know what i mean now have disposable income and, and like you know they're still man boys in like some ways right if you want to argue that man but boys. i mean like but i mean then they can put it up on screen and they're like oh yeah they're just gonna like jizz all over it you know what i mean and and then like and they're making hundreds of millions of dollars oh, crazy like just i those. mean like yeah like if you look at the top of the year, the top five is usually two or three of the Marvel movies. You know what I mean? At right. like seven hundred, eight hundred million yeah. dollars a piece. Yeah. I mean, like well, no, Star and, Wars and movie every year too, right? Okay, fuck same, Star Wars. I'm not talking about Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not talking about Star Wars. <laughs> I didn't like Star Wars. I'm not talking about. Star Wars. Uh, no, I know. I was very disappointed in everything. Star Wars. Did, Star Wars. did you see the the last one? Uh, I did. I, I skipped through it. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped through it. Have you seen it? Are you into Star Wars at all? You just don't like the new ones. I've I've seen the new one twice. I've seen the new one. Twice. Day of first uh, like first showing. Yeah, I'm not into Star Wars, and, so I uh, and I I've seen it. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I was very disappointed. Uh, like very excited, and then less each time. And then I was very excited for Mandalorian. Very excited. Did you watching Mandalorian? I, I like Mandalorian. Episode. I watched every episode, but uh, I watched. I've heard it's great thing. I've heard good. So things. I watched I the it. first three. Yeah. Great, and then each episode I got less interested. In but the I last ended. two got right back into the story. Yeah, no. not really though. Like they kind of capped off some storyline that was in that first season, but they didn't really yeah. tell us more about who the Mandalorian is or any backstory there right. or there's a baby Yoda. What the fuck? Like what the, the, you gave me nothing. That you could right. take out, You could take out baby Yoda yeah. from the from the show. And honestly, they wouldn't you know, change that much. The the whole show lost a point for me because there was a group of people that kept saying this is the way. <coughs> Annoyed the shit oh. out of me. <laughs> Well, they had, like a, what they kind had a different of one. Uh, stupid shit is that? What is that? Uh, like, well, this is the way. This is a Mandalorian saying. Yeah, they just say yeah, it to each other. This is the way. It's like shut the. This f- is but the way. there's Nobody a different one. Like that. Uh, this is the way. <laughs> it's been told or something like that. I'm just that? Oh, there was one. There was some another stupid. Saying. You're not like, a big catchphrase fan, hey? You don't like catchphrases? No, because I. It's just it's too corny. It's corny. Do you have a catchphrase? What? I'll be back. Hey. I'll be back. Hey. I do that every time. I don't know. No. You guys have not seen it. I always do this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look I don't up. I I have one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no Star Wars sucks. <laughs> yeah, I've been disappointed. I'm I'm not a big fan of like long term, but it, r- it reminds me of a hot take I had that movies are better. Get the top of it. Huh? The top of it. What? My talking? Yeah, oh. you're talking on the bottom. It oh. doesn't pick you up. Yeah, yeah, it's not picking me up. Yeah. Okay, well, I, my hot take was movies are better. Uh, medium than TV. Oh, I think we talked about <laughs> this. You brought this up. I don't know. That's changing. I mean, like, uh, with the TV and like, or do you mean like not the TV experience, but TV shows you're talking about, right? Yeah. Well, I think like with TV shows, I think that is changing over. I mean, like, yes, I mean, going to the movie theater and that focus, like you talk about, is a very important part. And I mean, like, you know, if you could, you could watch maybe TV shows in that way now too, because right. the scale and quality of the TV shows are on level or better in some cases, you know. Mm-hmm. Now. So, uh, and then you have all the talent and the writers and everything that are coming over there and essentially making like masterpieces. You know what I mean? Like, it's like instead of like, you know, telling a story in like three hours I can tell it in eight <coughs> and like multiple seasons mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so like if I imagine that like if how long does it take you to read a book an average book 10 hours 12 hours depends who you talk to yeah, <laughs> yeah <right>. four <laughs> months <laughs> about six <laughs> yeah, six is kind of average like six like 300 pages yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. 300 pages eight, almost yeah. six hours say so six to eight I'm eight, in the wrong eight group. hours yeah, eight hours. <laughs> anyway, let's expand it to ten. Yeah, 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 ten fuck you guys so you took that book and you went to ten <laughs> I'd be ten too I, what is, what's reading <laughs> 
That's why I'm selling on the <laughs> TV. But now you can essentially take that book and uh, uh, like uh, uh, that it would take 10 hours to read and uh, expand it out to a 10 hour story. And yeah, really yeah. kind of like share those um, experiences mm. and that nuances of, of the character. Yeah. Because even as long as the, Iri- like, you know, go back to the Irishman a bit, even as long as it is, I mean, the audience is getting used to now. They're like, no, I want to see this guy like do some crazy stuff. I yeah, really yeah. want to like spend time with this person. You know, you're Walter White. Yeah. or you're, uh, you know, from, uh, 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 Madman, what was his name? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Dapper. Or what's it? But I think Don the point he yeah, was like you like you want to like spend time with these guys, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so you, you can do that for five, six seasons. But I think yeah, the I mean like that's so much attention. Whereas one movie is three hours. Yeah, yeah, but I think the point he was going with before was that sometimes you'll get shit like Game of Thrones, where it went so long that they fuck it up. But no. if that was a movie, Game of Thrones actually. So the reason Game of Thrones fucked up is because they went off books. There were there's yeah, no minute books. books. So they no, 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 but I mean, like, uh, if that was a movie, they fucked it up because they, they wouldn't have fucked it up. They actually did it too short. Maybe, maybe they would have fucked it up, but it's hard to say. They probably would have fucked it up because they, fu- yeah, because they fucked up everything they did. So well, the end of it. Well, oh, no, they, they, are they, they, they fucked up a lot of things throughout the show too. But oh, I don't even know. I the think first five seasons I thought were fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> that is true though. I mean, like to think like okay, you so then go you too do, long. Like, then you do invest so in, a, in a series, and you're like, yes, five, six seasons down, and then all of a sudden, like a movie would one, never do and that. It sucks, to me. and you're like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. You just like a like movie <laughs> couldn't waste a decade of my <laughs> life. Like, yeah. like a bad girlfriend. A decade. <laughs> a decade. <laughs> decade. No longer than a decade. <laughs> yeah. I started reading. Like that. A movie wouldn't do that. I started reading when I was when I was 19 years old. When I was 19. Yeah, this is crazy book. So I'm 32 now. That's 13 years. <laughs> they ruined it. <laughs> Only they ruined a show it. could do that. <laughs> they ruined it. And I was so excited for it to fucking start 2011. Yeah, yeah. Do, you think that, do you think the ending but of uh, Game of Thrones is the worst of all time? Yes. Yes. I And I knew it going I in. I think anti- anticipation-wise, yes. 13 years. I was waiting for this ending. Yeah, yeah. 13 years. And yeah, then yeah. I'm like, I'm like, before it's, it aired, I was like, all right, let's get this over with. Like, I knew it was just going to be garbage. Oh, and yeah, you like knew. You knew after the first, like, two episodes, yeah. like, this uh, is fucking terrible. I was like, terrible. oh, Jesus oh, Christ. No. Yeah, yeah, this and is then, bad. So did you, did you stick it out like a pro? But, but like, were you oh, like, yeah. like, no, but because oh, yeah, I kept course. thinking, I'm like, though, I kept I was thinking, on the edge I'm of like, my seat. I knew they were going to fuck this up, but I'm like, they'll try to redeem it somehow, and it got worse. Yeah. Like, the last episode like, was the dumbest fucking episode. I was on my edge of my dumbest. seat the whole, whole time, every episode. And then it would end, and I'd be like, let me reflect on that. That was horrible. <laughs> I kept waking. I'm like, no, yeah, because you're like excited. No way, you're like, they're gonna, they're gonna do something with this. They're gonna do something. They're gonna do something. Oh, and no, I did nothing. Oh, fuck. They did terrible. nothing. And then I'd be like, I'm so sorry. hopeful. Like, so like for the last, the last very last episode of all time, I'm like, they're gonna explain everything. It's gonna be like, they're gonna make and it. And they didn't. And it did nothing. And nothing. Just, it just ended. And then you, yeah. just stare at the just like it and you stare at the screen. It ends and you stare at the screen for an extra 20 seconds. And you're yeah. like, and no, none of the nothing. things. Th- they nothing. never I answered got one question that you waited for a decade. The it's fucking very, like, Night lost, King, lost-ish. the fucking like, wheelchair just so kid, things, like yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> but no, so re- my main reason why I thought movies are better than television uh. is because there's so many television shows where they just meander for a long time, or they have filler episodes, or and, and, ex- and that's the way TV works. And right. or they like they don't know how they start it, but they don't know how they're gonna end it. Mm. So then you get stuff like Sopranos, where it's like people are so disappointed because they didn't really know how to end it, or Lost, where yeah, they don't lost, know how to yeah, end yeah. it. They just started it, they had this concept, and that's all they had. And, and then they just kind of what they just gonna figure it out on the fly. <laughs> yeah, and then they never do, and it just kind of like fizzles out. Like, and then but people movies, movies do that too. They do, but they're not as conducive to it. That's just a like bad Matrix. Movie. Wow. Matrix so like almost got no, ruined. Matrix, Matrix is a really that. good. That's true. Matrix is a really yeah. good example. Good they it, it, it had a TV effect. They had right. a perfect story. Yeah, yeah, and then they, that's and then what I mean. They and then they, and then they bought new seasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they made it like a television show yeah, where yeah, they're like, all right, let's keep it going. Everyone loves this. And really, they did, they shouldn't have. But isn't that what like yeah, isn't that what like big blocks big blockbuster movies are now though? <laughs> like, isn't superhero movies just a big fucking TV show now? Well, they're all wow. connected. Super, and the, and I say the superhero I, I movies they did a the MC universe. Uh, the yeah. MCU universe is definitely like TV like yeah. derivative. I mean, like as everyone sticks into that, but it, then it's also like comic book derivative. It's like yeah, right. the last right, one right. sticks to, to, to the true, next one. True. So you're like, okay, so it all kind of goes together. But now, does it also like work or like? Work magically when each one of them makes, like I said, three, four, five hundred million dollars a piece. Right, right. Like that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Like you're just like home run, home run, home run. Oh, it's I will say for the so I'm not a huge fan of superhero movies, but I've seen almost all of them. Right. And the way they fit them all together, they had a very cohesive story. So right. that wasn't an issue they had there. They 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 seem to have that down from the get. Like they knew the overarching thing they were doing, which was a very magical thing from like a production standpoint. How they right. were able to bring what like fifteen films all together. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What do, what do you think well, the you got next that Disney money, man? You're just like, you can just yeah. kind of put things on like standby. What Sorry? do you think the next big like genre of movie is going to be that's going to like hold everything together? Like there was Westerns, there was fucking sports. Now right. it's comic books. Like when do you think, do you <laughs> think that ends and then it's something new? 
Avatar. Avatar 2 to 16, whatever. It, like James Cameron. Doing. That's, that's, that's a fucking going to be hey. terrible. <laughs> that he's fucking doing, that is one of the most overrated movies ever. Yeah, we, I think we saw it together. Did we? I think we did. Terrible At West movie. Ed. Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, we yeah. saw it together. That's an awful Weird. movie. Uh, I thought it was. It's okay. No, like it's not. Awful. I don't think it's awful. It's not. It's it not awful. like it's a very standard uh, story. Well, I think it's gonna. Be, you know what? I think there's gonna be a resurgence of like, like, like you know those movies that are kind of like you know like the Woody Allen, like the like, yeah. you know the you Joel so? Bombach, like that kind of arty. Like there's gonna be a resurgence. Yeah, because <laughs> this is why. Right. It's because of streaming. Mm-hmm. So the movies, so the movies won't be necessarily, or even the TV shows, well, like you know, showing in the theater because Disney owns all that. But you have like these like gargantuan like spaces to fill with like Apple, Amazon, Netflix, right. uh, Prime, Crave, HBO, mm-hmm. your own it, this right now, your own YouTube. So I mean, like, and right, so these guys right, are right. all just like craving for content. Yeah. So like, if you're worth anything, you're salt. They're like, and you know, like you can put like a couple hours together. I mean, like. But what about like going the chances to the of movies? it going on are like I think maybe potentially higher. Go ahead. What about going to the movies? Well, like I said, that's gonna change. I mean, like so it's gonna be yeah, exactly more of a roller coaster ride. I mean, and I think one one of the things that because uh, uh, I was looking at it today, the 4DX movie theaters, you know, with the, like the moving, oh, like the air and, and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Have you guys done that yet? They just no, put it in West it. End. I've I haven't, done it. I haven't done no. it. Yet. No, it's I'm been a while. Really it's been around for yeah, a while, right? They've had it since like the 90s. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. No, you're thinking something else. But this one is called 4DX, I think. What's the thing? Oh no, I've I've actually done it in the San Diego Zoo. I watched the an exotic bird film cartoon oh and it had a 40 cute. and they sprayed you with water and stuff and there was like feathers came down from oh the bu- bu- uh, bubbles so would that be with that example then yeah. yes definitely that movie's more like a, a, a ride you know what I mean? right right then uh, then, yeah. uh, then an actual film right but i don't know i just uh, like i don't know i just like to think that with all of this like you know the streaming <coughs> services that are just like brand new basically disney plus is not even a year old yet yeah and they're what did i hear like they're like pump like they're basically pumping in like billions of dollars to like make sure that this thing runs right. so like i mean i don't know like if you can knock a couple rocks together and get a spark going i mean yeah. like, who knows i mean in terms of that so i mean like and i mean with success like noel Bombach's having with the oscars and everything that and you know with netflix uh, as being like proper like even if it is just a movie and it's right. released by netflix it is being recognized yeah, like yeah. you know um by the academy and other like you know film like worlds the world the film was so creepy i mean you ever, you ever like yeah. hung out with, like film they're all like they're all so like together and you're just like guys chill you're just in movies i mean like whatever <laughs> 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 i mean but they're just like oh they're so standoffishy but um uh but to go to the movies i mean like you're gonna like okay tenant Christopher Nolan. That looks Guys great. like that. Like, that's a guy yeah. like that. You're like, that bucks up my, everything I just said. I just said everything I said is a lie because of He him, thinks I mean. he's o- overrated. 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 I know, right? But, uh, but I'm saying like, I'm saying like he's like an 8.5 when people think he's like a 10 out of 10. I think he's 10 I think he's 10. good, but it's like, but what what yeah, do you mark? There's a lot of out of ten. Like to me, a ten out of ten is that you put out a movie. He's and like it's a, good. he's got a lot of holes in a lot of his movies. He's not a very good like uh, <laughs> cohesive logical structure to them. Yeah, but what what are you talking? Well, why can't to have a structure in order to tell it so like yeah like. The way you tell, but like okay, but but that. you like surrealism movies, which is basically just holes. Totally. Yeah. But but he's oh, trying oh, to explain oh. them with science fiction. Look at Ty fucking well, coming Tenet, out with man. the fucking Anyways, art. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're just for the sound. Tenet looks great, man. Tenet, Tenet does look great. Like that commercial alone is like one of the best trailers yeah, yeah, of a movie yeah. I've ever Did seen. You, okay. and I have no idea what that's about. Did you go see Star Wars in IMAX? Uh, no. Okay, so the Star Wars in IMAX. So the IMAX did an IMAX exclusive, like full scene from the movie, oh, like okay. l- like just before. Uh, Star oh, Wars really? Played. Yeah, yeah, man. So you got like not just the like the trailer that's online. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. It's a, a full scene like they did with like Bat. Any every Batman movie Christopher does. Actually, every movie he does. Yeah. He gets these IMAX like exclusive like videos, and so yeah, there's a full scene. Like like oh. did you see where, where they go into where the. Uh, um, it's uh, like a symphony, you know what I mean? And they like break into it and then they like, these yeah, yeah. Just, like take it over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like the whole scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. like, oh my God. It's it looks crazy. And the music. Does it give like an idea of still what's going on? Well, it's I a think, time thing, right? There's going to be a time. Well, it's Christopher Nolan, so of course it's time thing. That's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. is like maybe magical realism. That, we didn't really talk about that. I mean, I brought that up. Yeah, Christopher me it Nolan, I think. Well, maybe surrealism would be time, but I mean, like, he told me it wasn't. So I feel like I brought up Christopher Nolan. Well, no, because they try to explain what's the. Inception. Inception. They try to explain it using a device. Yeah. So they're explaining it there. Well, so uh, the, the, only, the only hint is that he's like down there and he's like trying to get those, pick those bombs up off of the mm-hmm. floor, right. and then like something like 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 spins yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the guy gets shot in the head. Inception, like, I love. Oh, just to say, I love yeah. Inception. 
That's that's I, almost oh. entitled. See, the for me. thing about that was, Nolan, that was one of my favorite movie experiences of all time. Yeah, that's it's like when the when fun. the city goes like this. Oh, it's fun. And it's just oh, like, dude, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm in nuts. fucking heaven. Yeah, it's that nuts. was that was one of my favorite movies because yeah, yeah. the action's really good. Uh, that's that's the thing about Christopher Nolan is what I really like about him is that he could be he's pretty much a Marvel movie with yeah. a story. But I know I give I give and it's unbelievable Inception, Town Ten, all the rest of them. Really? Uh, Memento? Okay, speak, Dun- Memento Dunkirk wasn't like my top 10 Dun- of the Dunkirk, decade. Dunkirk, I didn't like how Yeah, I saw you like, loose, you were like wow. uh, Yeah, I liked it, but uh, I watched it and I, I didn't like how loose everything was and didn't give you a lot of explanation for what was going on. No, I, I, had it, no, I found it, it very it, hard to follow. No, it was um, Batman I mean, like, movies you didn't? Batman, I, I'm, I, I'm Dark not a big fan of super movies in Neither general, am I, but that's but, why uh, I loved it. No, it I to found, me, it was like a mob movie with a superhero. I found other than Joker, like it's a little overrated. His character is incredible, but yeah, the rest of the movie. Yeah. I found them amazing, and I don't like superhero. And then the third one, I didn't like at all. Uh, that was oh, the worst one out of the three. Yeah, but uh, Memento, Memento is a ten out of ten movie for me. Memento was a ten out of ten movie, like kind of like a Fight Club when I was sixteen. But as I grew older, like it's like <laughs> okay, it's okay. Well, because it's one of those movies that it's That's hard so to perfect. watch again. I feel like, huh? Memento. Those movies I love doesn't hold up when you think of like the logical stuff in it. Where no, like, it's not that. It's just, it's like, just like once you know yeah. the end, it takes away from the experience. Maybe because oh, no, yeah. but I don't think. Yeah, that's, like I guess it could be like Fight Club. It's, yeah, I, it's, yeah. It's yeah. yeah, it is. Like yeah, yeah, Fight Club's yeah. ruined because you know. Yeah, but I don't yeah. know. I don't know if it is. It's it's almost like there's there's like a subreddit called I'm I'm 14. This is deep. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like it's like oh you're like it's when you're new. To movies, and you're like, well, it's such a cool, like, groundbreaking idea. And then when you get older, know. you're like, ah, okay. what else are you it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like held up only on the idea. Prestige? Prestige well, it's, it's holding up on the fact that he's Christopher Nolan and he made, like, all these other yeah. majorly groundbreaking yeah, yeah. movies uh, post that movie. So you're always going to look at the, some of the first stuff and see, like, where the bread cr- breadcrumbs lead from, yeah. right? Mm. And so, I mean, like, yeah, does it stand up? Doesn't it? I mean, Movies like that don't, isn't like the heartbreaking where you're like, yeah, this movie shaped me so yeah, much. Yeah. And then you go back to it years later and you're like, Oh my god, it's bad. Yeah, it's so Fright bad. Night. Like, I mean, my whole is my whole like yeah, existence yeah, yeah. based off of this bad movie. Like this, like, like, this bad thing. Like, yeah. oh my Fright god. Night was that for me? <laughs> Fright Night. I don't think I've ever seen Fright Night. <laughs> Never seen Fright Night. That's the uh, uh, the vampires, right? The old one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I oh, was yeah. like, Fright Night. I, I would talk about how fucking scary this movie was, and then I watched it, and I was like, oh, this movie's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, yeah. Every time I thought of a horror movie, I'm like, no, that vampire one with the house, <laughs> fucking terrifying. <laughs> I've never. And I watched of it. it again. I go, oh, there is awful. They remade it with uh, Colin Farrell. He yeah, was right. Fright Night. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's great. Yeah, they did two of them, Fright Night one and two. Yep. But then oh. they and remade then they remade it, the first remade one. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh. With uh, one of my favorites, uh, David Tennant. David Tennant. Uh, David, David Tennant. I don't know. He is. was a he was a doctor. No, maybe I'm probably saying his name. Yeah, David you think Tennant. of Tennant. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was a doctor, but he was in Broadchurch. Are we in time? He was in Broadchurch. Are we talking about now? Broadchurch. 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 No, Broadchurch, the show on Netflix. <laughs> Shit, you guys know what David Tennant is? Yeah, yeah. Dad, we're having an aneurysm right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, man. I've told you a terrible news. Wait, we're going to change, uh, we're gonna change oh yeah, gears go here. Okay, do it. So I just finished today doing a blog a day for Medium. Yeah. Every day for 30 days. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do another 30-day challenge. I really like 30-day challenges, Darren. I've obviously done a sober challenge, but still going. Yeah. I was going to do one year. Congratulations. Uh, but that's going to keep going because that's, w- that's but, working. You know. Yeah. Why quit? Quitter? Did you call me a quitter? Yeah, I called you yeah, a quitter. But why quit now? Because then I'd be a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and, then, and in the past, I did because uh, I've talked about this on the podcast before. I have a very low sex drive, so I've had an ex girlfriend once say we're not having sex enough. So I go, well, you know what I'll do for you? Oh, let's do a thirty day sex challenge. Very good, very enjoyable. I was very happy I did that. So what we did was like. We do as so you don't have a low sex drive. You just need inspiration. I, I need a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a gamify. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. You yeah. need to choke. But that was I fun. <laughs> yeah. I would recommend it. You said you're an ex girlfriend now. You have. I have an ex girlfriend. For now, your yeah. future, or for your ex girlfriend. I don't know what you're into. If you want to, you know, so that's fun. Thirty days sex, sex challenge. Thirty day sex challenge. Very Kay. invigorating for a relationship. Right. Very fun. So what we did was like. I wrote down 30 different sexual things, mm. but like you want some off days, right? So I wrote down some like watch porn together, or b- go buy a toy, something like so that. Th- so by, th- but by did you have to have sex every day? <coughs> no, no. You could oh. do a sexual related thing as well. So oh. like, did you guys like set an hour, two hours, <coughs> or three hours? Or yeah, you no, just like uh, had to make sure that that what, thing was done that We day. had 30 things and we can, we can pick one. Now so how if we w- need a break. We're like, okay, let's just go look at porn today for like How weird minutes. did you make the list though? How like weird? Nope. Yeah, did you make like anything? No, pretty standard Nothing stuff. In your butt? Like no butt, <laughs> no butt. I'm not a butt guy. I don't oh like butt. Oh man, no. I'm a butt guy. You My don't eat ass? Don't eat ass. Oh. Don't eat ass. <laughs> no, shout out ass. <laughs> shout out. Don't ass. eat us. 
<laughs> fucking dolt. Uh, I've never tried it. I've never even tried it. Oh, once you try it, you don't go back. That's why that you're I, think I, I think I'd <laughs> go back quickly. <laughs> but uh, Tyler, I recommend 30 Day Sex what? Challenge. Try it. Sure. Tell me, mm. tell me it's, it's incredible. Very good. Okay, so a question. Idea. Like, did you find then that, uh, like, the sex was better or different? Like, as better. The, as the better after. Better after. Better after. Or during. Like, were you more free? It's more like I got very comfortable right. with sex. And I would say before, I was probably like a little, like, I'm almost all my sex was drunk. Unless when I had long term girlfriends, but we didn't really do a lot of experimenting. Mm. And that was very, like, freeing. I felt way more comfortable in my skin after. Uh, we also did, like, one of the things we did was, like, we hung out an afternoon naked together. And it's just like doing little things like that. Like you just kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did yoga, and then uh, we had a little dance party. It was oh. very fun. Well, the naked dance party is essential. <coughs> <coughs> it was essential. <laughs> I felt so free. No pants. Because I wasn't drinking yeah, or anything then essential. during that thirty-day challenge. And then like, uh, did you have more sex in that? Well, obviously in the 30 yeah, days. for sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Out of the thirty days, how many times do you think you had sex? <coughs> like thirty. Tw- twenty. 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 Probably. Twenty. Because yeah, there was like you need days off, so you need. You do you though? Yeah. Well. 30 day challenge. I like days off. I, I only like having sex maybe three three times a week. How many times do you masturbate? No, almost none when I had a girlfriend. Yeah. Almost never. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, so, but I was going to say probably Same around way. three days a week now. Three, three days a week now without Yeah, yeah, that's probably just, it's maybe sometimes I'll go weeks. I don't think about it. Do you think that's because we're getting older? I think I've always been like that. I, don't, I only remember having a very high sex drive. When, when you were like younger, you 14, didn't masturbate a 14, yeah, 14. I remember oh, like almost every day. Beast when I was young. Beast. Oh. That's why I was like, like there was like five, five six days. I was days. 12 years old, man. I was Get rid of my tooth. <laughs> Get yeah. rid of my tooth. All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Take them all. Oh, 100%. Yeah, like right I can't now, lose like, that. I'm like, I'll do <laughs> it while you're like. It was like a schedule. It was like 9 o'clock, girls gone wild, infomercials on TV. Right when your mom leaves. Oh. And it was anytime, anytime you're alone, like that's what you were going to do. Yeah, yeah. There was there was days, yeah, it's like six, seven times. Yeah, man. Like anytime you got to stay home from school, it was like. I get to masturbate, <laughs> but, it, but I look. I look at it like it's not that I have a high, or don't have a high sex drive. I think, but so the way I view almost everything is I get obsessed with it, and right. then I get over it, almost right, everything. Right. So like I get obsessed with like oh, playing video games, and then over it like three years later. I get mm. obsessed with playing guitar over it two. two so and it's and like, like you just like perfect it. You say you like I'm. I get I burn I'm it out. I burn now. it out. Like so I think like I don't perfect it, but I burn it out. Oh, that's cool. I obsessed. So how long were you obsessed with sex for then? <laughs> Three days. Um, <laughs> Three oh, days. There's, there's a period, and it was with you actually in our twenties. <laughs> <laughs> not sexually. Not sexually. I did not even know oh, about this. No, not <laughs> but hey. but we were, fact, you were we raped. were going out, and we were like doing very like focused, like getting girls things, in like yeah, our twenties. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I think right when I were twenty, and that was like a a year thing where I got a very obsessed with like pick up game when I'm uh, like oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, Neil Strauss. Then. David yeah, Strauss. Yeah. 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 The game. But I got very obsessed with that. Because right. I found it interesting, like psychologically. Yeah. Right. right. Um, and then like it's it gave you, like it gave you some confidence to go. Yeah. It was kind of like, but it it got tarnished. But it's like negative side of it. Or pretend you have an Austrian accent. Well, because all these accent. douches like took it up and they were like. Yeah, because well, the way they looked at women was like kind of a was a, was an issue. Well, like they oh, yeah, like, was, like like just pure like numbers kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I looked at it more. But as, it like, does take numbers. It does. But I looked at it. I looked at. I mean, like it's like it's serious. It's just numbers. Not to be you don't be rude to every single girl. Practice. But I mean, like if you talk to ten, one will probably say yes. Yeah, like that doesn't necessarily mean sex, but I mean like to go on a coffee with you. Well, not oh, even. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, I thought you were talking about like, sex. I'm like, I no, don't no, know. No, 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 I mean, then, I, but, then, but then from there, but yeah. then, then from there again. So then you talk to ten girls. You talk to you take one on a date. You take right. ten girls on a date. One of them will probably have sex with you. Yeah. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. So I mean, you're like, probably so you gotta like hundred percent, ten percent of the time. I feel like if you go on a couple dates, you're probably gonna have sex. Yeah. 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 I mean, depends. That's what your goal is. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, I feel like biologically that is my goal for everything. I don't know because I, I don't, I don't know if. Okay. I went Touché. On, like, evolutionary. That's yes, but right. no, but oh I went, on, correct, correct, I went on five dates yeah. <laughs> uh, this summer, and I had sex one on one date. Sex on one but date. Fi- five different dates, different yeah, women. Different women, and I don't think my goal is were they sex, all one so. dates though? Yeah. Okay, I so I that's probably why. But I'm saying why. if you went yeah, on yeah. a second date. Yeah, maybe second date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably because I don't drink, right? So it's it's hard to get that first time sex with no drinking. Well, and I mean, almost it really it hard actually. Yeah. Check your game, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, I gotta go hit the pickup artist <laughs> yeah. stuff again. Neil Strauss. Yeah, maybe you do, uh, you do, do a little uh, uh, recap. Week. Little recap. I wonder if Neil Strauss still is a thing. Well, he wrote Marilyn Manson's book. <laughs> yeah, but is no, it like the Me think Too he, thing probably no, wiped like, him out? No, I think he was very like like oh. me with how I'm describing how I get obsessed stuff. He's, he's yeah. a, he was obsessed with that for a time. 
mm-hmm. and now he moved on. He's re- he's actually wrote a book this year, I think. Oh, yeah. He's, he yeah, just yeah, writes about all different stuff. Yeah. Oh, does he? That was oh. just like a topic he was on for a little bit, and he got because he's a journalist, he got interested in the topic. Right. And then and then he moved on. Oh, I see. He's not like uh, what's the guy that with the the hat? There's another famous guy. Oh, like who the is Neil Strauss is in? Oh, the yeah, picker. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. He looked. He looked very magician-y. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember Douche his name. He looked very douchey. Yeah, exactly. I saw him on Conan O'Brien. Uh, he was on Conan O'Brien. He was like they got very famous. These guys yeah. for, oh, yeah. for a while. Neil Strauss is super famous. Oh yeah, the game was. Yeah, like, yeah. Really Neil Strauss has a very good uh, clip that he uses. Oh, he, he does a game. I you may have published. So the game is, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you something like a kiss, mm-hmm. and you got to get it wrong. You got to get. I'm gonna ask you five questions. You got to get them wrong. Right. So if you get it right, like I'm gonna ask you what's your name, and you say like. Vanessa, yeah. Uh, but if you say Darren, you got it wrong. Okay. Right. And then I'm gonna ask you five questions, and you're like, "Well, I'll bet you a kiss." Right. Like something like that. Okay. I'm not gonna bet you a kiss though. No, no. But like that's the game. He okay. And he, and he did this on Conan O'Brien, Neil Strauss. And I was oh, like, that's I such see. a good that's game. The game. Are they that's right. such. Me, a I was like, oh, what? no, no. But that's like that's like a pickup game. Yeah. And it was such a good game. I used it and I had sex because of the game. One hundred percent. No, but I feel or like Conan O'Brien. But, but, but I gotta the assume the psychology of that would have wanted to have sex with me anyway. But it was just like an easy way. The psychology of the game the itself barrier. works wow. itself. Like, did you know this girl? The fact yeah, that the girl will her. play that game with you means she's interested. Okay, in but you. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If she says here, that, no, but here's oh, yeah, a kicker. Here's yeah. a so kicker. So if you know her, that's like it's a little, it's a little bit. If you know somebody, you're like, okay, that's what I'm saying. I think she wants to anyway. But it's an icebreaker. It's. I mean, you want to, you want to kiss girls who want to anyway. Of course. You don't want to kiss. You don't want to trick girls into doing it. You want something to break the ice so that you can do it. Yeah, but I mean, but, but game, if you bro. just walked up, to <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm almost tricking. I'm almost I think tricking. I'm gonna get canceled this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I take it all back. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> but I think I think that's that was kind of like where the pickup artist stuff went wrong. Is that it was a bit about tricking in a sense? Like, oh, they, yeah, like yeah, it yeah, felt that's like what it was. was tricking. Like the yeah. game. You ever watched the show that? I think Neil Strauss was on a couple times, but I think it was that guy with the hat. He had a show yeah. where he trained guys to be pickup artists, yeah. and then they would yeah. go out yeah. and try to trick women, yeah. which is like seems just. But it feels up. very trickery. Whereas, that, yeah, whereas like I like that's why it's like well, the girl should want to kiss you already. Right, it's just a way to break the ice. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's yeah, where no, some of, that's some why, of that's it is good because you don't just, just walk up to a random girl. Yeah, yeah. It's a way to and that's uh, what that's no, what I used it for when I when I was twenty. It was like. I didn't drink like at the time. I wasn't. Dr- I'd go out and drink a little bit, but I yeah. wanted more to the social thing where I wanted to learn how to interact with women. And I think that's what it did positively for many yeah. men. I think. I think the biggest thing it did for men was yeah. It it seemed tricky, but a lot of it was just it gave so many people confidence, which women yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. Like the confidence to even the go try a game. is really what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really is what it is. Yeah, but here, well, here's a kicker to the game. What? Or whatever. If you've ever bet a girl a kiss. Yeah. Don't don't kiss them right after you win. Make them ask for it. No, no. Be like, oh. okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss you though when I feel like the time's right. But it's not gonna be right after. Oh, oh then you're not as hungry. Yeah, you, yeah, because like, yeah. it's gonna be this expectation. I don't want the expectation. It's whenever I feel like now the moment's right in our night. Right. I'll kiss you. But now I got mm, it. So now it's so because so, it's, it's not this big build up then after the game. You're like, and then I get to use a nice moment. What's yeah, good? And then, like, I like that. and then she knows it's coming. You know what I mean? And it's not gonna be like sneak attack or whatever. Yeah, it's not a me too. Not yeah, yeah. No, because you're basically, basically what you did is you did a yeah, whole game to tell you, I'm going to kiss you later. Is that okay? But you oh. kind of wrapped this whole thing into a game. I was going to bring my McEwen sheet uh, that my client. Oh, I probably have a picture of it. It's so great. What is it? It's a sexual class thing. It's so good. You guys are going to love it. It's like Especially a classic and take. Okay, wait, the, wait. The, the, the reason I was bringing up 30 oh, yeah, day you challenge bring up though, originally. Because I'm going to do a 30-day challenge of no Reddit or YouTube for 30 days. Whoa. It's going to be very hard. What are you going to do with all that time? <laughs> That's what I hope. A lot of stuff, hopefully. Or you're going to get, That's you're easy gonna get like super that. dumb. Because yeah, huh? you, you, you won't be able like, to learn anything for a month. You're going to get well, no, like, super read dumb. a lot. Just kidding. No, just you're just talking <laughs> just about in the morning? Huh? Or just no Reddit YouTube? Ever. Oh, for, for 30 the days. Day. Oh. Brand, I have, like, I Even have our own YouTube? YouTube fiend. Uh, are well, you no, going to no, upload our shit? No, if I have to do it for stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Actually, um, actually, you do I know your distribution <laughs> channel, right? And we are cl- this is, so. This is the last one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so announcing this is the, the end. last podcast for <laughs> announcing the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys, like, uh, okay. oh, but I want to know what's <laughs> the what, okay, are, so <laughs> what are other good thirty days challenges? Thirty day challenges. Because after this one, because I want to keep just doing thirty. If we ask Richard. Richard will do a thirty day no masturbation one. Yeah, but uh, that's fine. That's like, easy. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't make it. A good thirty day challenge. I like the writing one. I I feel like a good thirty day challenge is like. Cause I, I'm like you. I get really obsessed with something. So something new yeah, that yeah. I'm not good at, I get really obsessed yeah, with. Yeah. So I like, like for writing, for me, it's try to write for 30 days. Yeah. Do something you're not good at. Anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got Anything. one. Wake up early, 30 days in a row. 
No, so I, I, was, I added that one on. I just yeah. didn't say it. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yeah, you sent that. That's not you early for me. That that's not early for me, but that's that's the regular time. But mm-hmm. I sleep in because I don't. I write in the morning, so I have like an hour and a half. So like maybe five out of seven days I'll wake up at seven. But those two days really bother me when I don't wake up and I don't do the writing in the morning. So now it's part of my challenge. You know why? Because this morning I was like, all right, you can sleep in, but you have to add 7 a.m. to your challenge <laughs> for 30 days. <laughs> I convinced myself I was very smart. My sleepiness, very conniving. No, I have I to. I couldn't sleep past seven. That's, that's anyway. a pretty good one. Um, yeah. So that's part of it. But uh, you know, what, are, what are some good 30-day challenges? Because I like the sex one. The sex one's great, but you need a girlfriend to have the sex one again. Well, you don't. You don't, but check uh, your you have to check your uh, camera. <laughs> well, I, would say, I would say like no like social media. No social music. That's good one. that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that so one's kind of easy. I mean, maybe not all I of it, but like definitely it is, like certain ones. Like, I, it is my work, but I but I have no problem going on YouTube for work. YouTube. Or right. Yeah, you have yeah. to. Yeah. It's yeah. a hard one for you. Yeah. So I, I I'm allowed to go on it for work or uh, Reddit for work. But no right. coffee. No coffee is a good one. That's tough. Yeah. No coffee is a good, really good one. Like what would like what, what would you? So it's either got to be really good. It's really good because you're gonna get better at something or something that you have a that you that's really love that you're yeah. taking away. Like it's yeah. challenging enough that you can achieve it, yeah, yeah. but it, but it's also really tough. Coffee would be yeah. good, but it really tough for like four days, and then it would be normal, I think. Well, mm. yeah, after those headaches go away, you're fine. It'd be really hard for four days or three days. Yeah, yeah. It's like fasting or something. Yeah. Here. You ever fasted? Yeah. Yeah, so I fast every day. I did a 72-hour fast. Yeah? I've done also a 72 hours, mm-hmm. but I gave up after 36. <laughs> 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 Once you get past forty eight, it's fucking uh, fine. Uh, yeah, forty eight is I, on rough. On the third day, I woke up in the morning, and then I was like, "Yeah, I was like, fuck this." At like ten in the morning, I was like, "I can't take this. I got, I can't wait till night." I did the master cleanse, so I mean, like, <coughs> oh yeah, 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 like you're like only eating juice, right, 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 and then like, yeah, like the, just juice. I think it was for the first mm-hmm. however many days. So I mean, like that, but I don't know. That's What'd you feel about that? Uh, it was a long time ago, like probably fifteen years ago, but I mean. I had, I really enjoyed it, um, <coughs> but it is like it was pretty hard. I got my mom fasting or intermittent fasting right now. Oh, nice! She like it. Intermittent uh, fasting. So what is that? That's where you like don't eat between like a certain times of the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So every every day you do a certain fasting period. So mine is six sixteen hours. Mm-hmm. I eat from twelve to eight. Feeding p- feeding period. Feeding so from eight period. To feeding really to and now did you figure that like time out like from research or just like knowing? It's your very body? standard. Twelve to eight is very standard. Yeah, it's yeah, like time. an easy one because oh, then okay. it's including Lunch. sleep, right? So then from eight to noon. You're not eating. <coughs> so 12 at night till 8 in the morning. No yeah, so eating. the only period of really difficulty is... No, no, no. 8 at night to 12 afternoon oh. is no eating. No eating. So I only so eat noon to from noon to 8 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, so I only no eat eating. from eight from noon to 8 p.m. Which is very doable. Because, uh, yeah, then you get like regular... all regu- yeah. You hit the regular hours for people. Yeah. So if you go for lunch or it's, you go for dinner with people... It's, it's an easy one. Yeah. Interesting. And if then also uh, it, on weekends... Yeah, I've done that. Weekends, I don't really care. I looked at the Rana Patrick... She was on Rogan. Yeah, that's yeah. where I got the. She's that's super. Where I got a lot true. of my medical stuff from. Rona I like her. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, but uh, she said they did, they did compared a lot of five to s- like five days a week mm-hmm. and seven days a week. Fasters. Not much difference. Not really any difference. Yeah. So I was like, uh, then I just relax on weekends. That's fair. Home and stuff. That's a good idea. It, yeah. It makes it easier right. too. Yeah. Interesting. I like that. That could be a three day challenge. Yeah. Try. It. What do I? What Ch- try what? Uh, like do a seventy two like hour fast yeah, every yeah. week. <laughs> No, not a 72-hour, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, the uh, fasting from 8 till 12. No, I do that every day. No, I know you do, but I mean, but for somebody who doesn't, that could be... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm looking for... I'm asking for you guys for, for oh, more for ideas. You, for you. Yeah, because oh, I'll be... Oh, after this, when I'm done, I'm going to keep it going. No, I'm going to keep it going. I don't mm. care about other people. Don't wear Puma sweatpants for 30 days. How fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? Because funny, the last podcast, he's like, I wear these every day. And he's still right wearing them. You know how cold it is? <laughs> he's still got them on. <laughs> Buddy, I'm going to wear sweats. Pa- I, three pa- I can't wear jeans on. in this weather. I know, it's rough. Yeah. I, I need to wash all my sweats, that's why. I, I, okay, I think I need to shout out you guys for the dedication on this podcast because we are like facing the coldest day of <laughs> the year. Oh, we're dedicated. Like mi- minus 42. So you I came mean, out. There, we could. Cri- like, yeah, you came out you, too. Shout out to you. This this you don't job. have to. Yeah, it's yeah, our job. <laughs> you really <laughs> we gotta be here. To. It's more <laughs> yeah. of a good day to you. It's our job, and we don't even get yeah. paid anything for it. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's Not right. Yet. Red Bull. Red Bull. Shout out Red Bull. Here, I wanted to read <laughs> this on air. Out. So McEwen University yep. sent out from McEwen University the Office of Sexual Violence Prevention Education Response, practicing consent skills. Yeah, this is a good one. We get a like a. You think a fifty-year-old woman? Wrote this? No. This no? is definitely new you generation. Think kids? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is a new generation. Uh, well, I would think they're staff, though. It's usually pretty old, no? I don't feel like it. I don't know. Let's I don't feel it. like we'll old people we'll are into read this it, stuff. then we'll judge. Okay. 
Get comfortable with asking for consent. If you if it can feel awkward at first, but directly asking someone what they want to do shows that they're into being with them and that you can respect them. So here's some examples. Okay. This is the best. What do you want to do? This is during sex. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? Can I blank you? I would love to blank you with you. Are you into that? <laughs> that sounds normal. That sounds all. No, fun. it's not. No. No. What do you mean? Can well, I? Well, you can. can you I ever said like that? You've never said. Can I fuck you? You never said. Can I fuck <laughs> you? No, I've said. Yeah. Can <laughs> that I fuck seems you? weird. Right, well, I mean, well, where's your game at? It should be like fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. But, but, but yeah, but it's it's very standard. It's just like a different wording. Okay. okay. Fuck me. Here, oh, maybe I've heard it all the time. No, hold on. I hear it every day. Okay, check checking in. Okay, checking in verbally. Yeah, yeah. So this is during sex. Read so far, very underwhelming. I gotta say. Okay, fine. Very standard stuff. <laughs> Maybe this is the part that I'm thinking of here. This guy's, Checking in this verbally. Guy's, this guy's choking people, not asking. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> checking in. Like checking in verbally. Guys, have you guys ever heard this? Can I fuck you? Have you guys ever heard that? Wild stuff. Wild stuff. <laughs> okay. Can you believe asking for Here's yeah, checking in. Like checking in during sex. <laughs> How does that feel? What do you want to do next? How does that feel? Are you feeling this? Do, next? do you want me to keep going? I think, keep I think, going? I think you're thinking of context because I feel like all those things... Or things you say I think while if they're choking you, then that means either A, <coughs> they want you to keep going, or B, yeah. stop. No, how I do you like, like this? Like, it's like no. you you just think of I think no. you're I think you're feeling too clinical about these things. No, like, I'm not. No, say I'm those not. things no. in it. No, 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 he's right. I mean, like, no, 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 no. I think I, think so, I, 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 I think guarantee s- you you're thinking too much of that. I gar- I've never said this stuff to anybody. If I if how does that feel? <laughs> You've never said that. How does that no, feel? But, no, but but not do you in like the, the girls. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no, no, but the really, no, no, no. On there, right though. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah, but that. But do you like this? No, but it's the context. You've never said of it. those things. No, relax. Up your it's game, the, bro. Relax. Up it's your the context. Game. It's the context <laughs> of it. Up your game. It's the context of it. I've never asked in consent. I've asked it in like a hot way. Yeah. Like you like that. But but I've never said. Do you like that? Do you want me to keep going? But no, but you don't fucking give me that shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. way you say that. No, no, but. But you yeah. can you can do it in a consent way that works as both. But you're saying you but can't you're do it n- in a sexy way. Not. So nobody's not. Nobody's not. Nobody does that. But even if you are saying in a sexy way, I mean that is still asking for consent, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You not really. Say it as a sexy not way. Not really. You could change what? those. Well, no. I mean, like it's still like. <coughs> no way. I think I think I think you're conflating two things, and I think you can ask for consent in sexy ways, and you can be respectful. Well, comes down to ask ways. for consent. Like if you're intent, I mean. I don't. I don't think it's like hold the hold everything. Let's get out the sheet and sign something. You know. That's no, that's wow. that's what I'm saying. You can we can do all these things. That's the, I mean, during sex. That's how it feels that when I'm reading this. I think I think a lot of sex positive people would say you do these things. They're words of like Inherently. confirmation. Yeah. And you just say them and you just say them casually. No, no, no. I you feel like say, you, I you feel say like them in like a sexy way just to confirm everyone's still on the same no, page. No, no, no. no. Well, I, I feel like, like this is taking the relationship away of the of you and the, For and sure. the other person because I mean right. if you're someone that you just met, yeah, those are essential. Yeah. Now if this is someone that you've been like seeing for like. Two or three years, or yeah, like yeah, five, yeah. ten years. You're like they're just saying for thirty years. Yeah. I mean, like you're, you're gonna be able to. Like but but, uh, but I think intergalactically. So I I honestly right. I I feel like if I looked back at everybody's our sex lives to oh, somebody you were there. Had, no, no, no. But if I did and I looked at <laughs> our sex life and somebody who just had sex once, yeah, once like one random <laughs> drunk night, you've never said any of this stuff, uh, in a consenting way. He, I don't know. I've had a lot I'm of like random. I'm not saying I'm shooting. I'm not saying I'm shooting hundred percent. I just don't think anybody does. I but feel I'm like never, this kind of takes away the the excitement of what you're doing. Um, I feel like the consenting is now. I get like what they're trying to do because like I think okay, I see what you're saying. There's there's some element of playing a line. Yes. That is sexy, and I think right. women, a lot of women that I know personally right. yes. have said yes. They like a little bit of pushing in yes. it a little bit, right? But there's also ways you can you can be respectful and ask, 100%. and I think that's also required. I don't and think I've ever been disrespected. I've never said that. Read the room. There's there's totally rooms. You yeah, read yeah. the room of the situation. That's what I'm do saying. I need to ask permission to do this? And there's totally times where you do, and I have. And you like have what? To. No, you have to. You have to ask. <coughs> like there has to be permission. Like there's never a p- time where like there's no. Wait permission, a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. That you can go yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel but, like but I think we're getting off topic. I'm not saying you should fuck somebody and I know, not I know, know, I know if they I know, want but you're, you to. You're, <laughs> you're, I think I think you're saying. I I think you're making it too black and white as well. On the other way. Where, where yeah. yes, there's times where there's no permission asked, no nece- unnecessary. Right. You can just tell by the physical of feeling. You can, tell, yeah. you can just tell it's the air, it's it's a room, you know, it's, it, we're having sex. We can both tell, we don't need to ask anything. We're just going to be. Yeah, but I feel like that's But most there's of the time. also some times where you're, you're with a girl and she's hesitant or like, yeah. like, like you, you, or you don't, you don't, you feel the hesitancy. Yeah, you can so tell. You, you so can like, tell. Like, or she's shy or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, so you, so can you tell. just say, do you want to have sex? Like, while you're getting yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh or yeah, can yeah, I yeah. Fuck you. Or that I, I agree. You? Which is on there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's on Which there. I agree. Which yeah, I agree. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you make it a too black and white, where maybe, where maybe it just felt when I read it, I felt like I don't. I know that's what you talk like this. Well, then don't read it like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just read it differently. Like, I think you're reading it too stale. Cause that's why, yeah, that's why I made fun of you when I heard the <laughs> yeah. "Can I fuck you?" I was like, "No, that part, stuff. that part made for pretty, <laughs> pretty standard stuff so far." Because <laughs> that's a, something I've said many times. Can I fuck you? Because you're just you. you're you're doing some over the pants stuff or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you gotta you gotta you gotta be like, I want to take no, no, this no, no. level. That's not what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I I think the first part I probably was thinking of the second part when I, I was reading it. I know you said yourself up badly because you read the first part. I was like, "Can I blank you?" I was like, "Second part doesn't make sense to me." We're on we're on the same page here. Yeah, like, yeah. Every once in a while, you gotta ask, "Can I fuck so, you?" So, so, anyways, <laughs> the reason I got this is my client, my six-year-old yeah, yeah. client, brought this to me because she yeah. thought it was really funny yeah, and yeah. silly. Yeah. See, but I yeah. think I think it's all about you know, the way you read it, and you can totally read it in a sexy way, or so, so you keep it even with the shy girl, you can still keep it kind of sexy. Well, and like, and coming from a six-year-old <laughs> person, I mean, they have mm. they just have a different experience, like how they learn sex and like how they mm-hmm. like you know had it and stuff right like right if you ever watch like old movies like yeah, yeah you know the way men like talked and handled women yeah, yeah. i mean like there was you know very like strong and very so rough. and so i mean you can see where this like pendulum goes the other way where it's like okay no 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 no, no. there's no more of that <laughs> yeah, like, yeah you know like chauvinistic blah 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 stuff and these are the, the rules now i mean like yes r- reading the rules like of any game are pretty dry yeah but right. i mean like the game pretty fun yeah yeah that's a right. good way that's a good analogy thanks reading the rules of a game pretty yeah. dry not that fun Right, but sometimes you got to read the rules. Some people don't know the rules. You're with someone you knew, a little bit hesitant, or hasn't done it in a while. Sometimes you well, got to recite the rules. Sex? No, I mean, but like I, your, I, I, I guess what it is, you're kind of like learning on the I fly. guess what it is is I think like what I get caught up in is when I'm. I think when, when I'm re- no no hold on, yeah. don't tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> I think what it is is I think can I, like can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I think do like I have consent? Somebody who has a problem with consent, yeah, is not going to listen to this. Right. The person that's oh. going to read this. What do you like, mean? I, what do you mean by problem? What do you mean by well, problem? Well, like, like if somebody's like showing that they, mean, like, uh, well, like, somebody that's showing that they don't want to have sex, but then you're like, well, I'm going to fuck you anyway. I'm not going to make oh, sure no, that you want to have that. sex. That would never. Mm-hmm. They're, I mean, that's yeah. what, but that's what I mean. Like, they're they're a type of person. Th- this kind of consent is for like a normal person like me, who's uh, the assumption when you're writing this is like, oh, guys don't know how to ask for consent, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't think I've ever been in a situation mm-hmm. where. I didn't know that you wanted. Here, here's who it's for. And it's not yeah. for you. That's that list is not for you. It's well, not for, for you because you're an experienced sexual person with having sex with someone else's experience. It's right. for two people in college who have never had sex. Right. And they are very clumsy and they've never played the game. Both of them never played the game. Read the rules. Yeah, and they're read there, the rules and first. And that's where you like learn yeah, it. That's yeah. it. College, yeah. high school, that's college. It. That's where you like learn it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like fooling it. around. It's it's probably good to have some rules. Yeah. For for two kids playing the first time. Probably they, good. Uh, like, like, so that's like a <coughs> college course. Is that what that is? No, it's not a course. It's just it's a, like a university a guidelines or guidelines like sexual uh, guidelines, from sexual yeah. violence oh, office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, like, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Then, it, then, it, then it's all on the table. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, then it's just, like, it's just, like, yeah. Because I mean, like, when, when people are just assuming, then what game are we playing? Here? You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't know if people do that. I, I, I always I give the benefit of doubt to people, and I feel like who this is for is not like even <laughs> the people that are in experience yeah that's how you gain experience is by having said that's how i gain experience that's how everybody gains experience uh, but now, I, I get what you're saying I think, but i just don't I think, think it's, that's it's who it's for i think it's just like it's not that it's how you gain experience that is how you gain experience i gotta play the game a couple times right but in that situation right it's hard to read the room mm-hmm. and i like that analogy too the reading the room because it's yeah, yeah it's hard to read the room because neither has done it before right and you don't know where you, you can't just like kind of feel it out sometimes you need to just say it maybe like, like can I fuck you? And then that's it. Or or and then after that, where where can you lead it to? Can mm-hmm. I do this? Can I yeah. do this? Right? Yeah. And I think it I think it just probably makes people a lot more comfortable. And it probably even makes the guy more comfortable if you can just say it and then you guys know what's on the table. It's kinda like the game that I just I just said. Right. Whereas say, I'm gonna bet you a kiss, you both know what we're doing, but I'm kinda telling you the rules of how this kiss is gonna go down so that I can kiss you later. Yeah. So now there's no now I don't know if that's a fair analogy. Yeah, I don't know if that's fair. So now we both know I'm gonna kiss you later and when I I do it that's fair analogy. Because I I basically ask without asking. So that's that's actually a good way that it doesn't need to be the rules, but I think the rules are saying these are some examples. Right. But what's what it's emphasizing is is you should have established some kind of consent, and, and that could be physical. No, I, I, I think I think hundred percent agree. There, yeah. there sh- has to be consent. I don't want this to turn into. I know, do you I need know. consent or I know. something. I know. <laughs> no, I only. I just feel like who's it for? 
Uh, I don't know if I like the idea that we. Hmm. How do I say this? Because I get where I get the sincerity of it. Mm -hmm. To me, it's funny because. Even a college student, I don't think that's how sexual interactions work. Like, I, I've never had... S there was a time in my life where I never had sex. Mm -hmm. And it never occurred to me to do something that I couldn't read the room. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody can read the room. Not everybody. I think, I think it's a bad way to go through life without giving everybody rules and assuming everybody... No yeah, souls. like you can't always assume. I mean, yeah. like you just can't no. always assume. That's unfortunately, I s it'd be nice if you could, but you can't. And I mean, and, right. and having like that, like I think, like in like universities mm -hmm. and high schools, like when exactly when you're first starting to come into like sexual age, and you're right. starting to be around other people who are of yeah. sexual sexual age, yeah. and you're like, oh, well, like I got this thing, you got that thing. What do they do when you put them together? Oh, this yeah, happens, yeah. that happens. Yeah. Feelings, uh, STDs, emotions, blah yeah. blah blah. Hundred percent. But I mean, but that's just the responsibility of it afterwards. But I mean, to you know, load the kids' lips with some, like, dry, like... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you like this? Yeah, do you like this? Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to fuck you? Kind yeah. of, like, lines. So that then when they're in the heat of the moment, they can ask them, and, and then there's a communication between the two people, and then they can actually have a really hopefully nice time because yeah, then yeah. You, yeah. you can exactly read the room and, and <coughs> say the... the yeah, see, I, I guess w I, see I, I still think we see it differently. I still think... I'm not. I'm just not going as black and white. I'm saying the rules are fine. I don't see any problem with the rules. No, no but the but rules but are having, obvious because they're, they're soft rules. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They're, they're not. They're no, not the no, no, law. But the, no, no, but I like. I like fine. But they're obvious. <laughs> like the the point of it to me, what it feels like is the point is it is it's setting a standard yeah. and setting people up to fail is what I don't like about. I don't it. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Because how to, I don't because to that. me because to me it's obvious. I I honestly can't think it. Well, because well, kind of like what happened with the whole Me Too movement, where it's like. The only oh, did they ask like me to for consent? Someone did they ask me? Yeah, but it's it's. I don't think it's them for fail because it's like okay, she says no, and then like okay, I should probably not. No, that's not what I mean. I'm not what saying you that fail you'll then? fail yeah. in the moment oh, where okay. you didn't. You didn't ask, and you and didn't and ask, and then some situation <coughs> can come up, and now there's this guideline you didn't follow. When I feel like <coughs> it's obvious that you want consent. Oh yeah, no one's denying that there's consent, and I mean like yeah, yeah. Um, I feel I like know. when it's I written, it feels. I I just yeah, think an emphasis on consent. That's aimed at people who've never had sex before. Yeah, it's good. Is, is a good thing. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sure. I don't, I don't that see that's probably the best yeah. argument that you yeah. guys said. Like I, the, which I agree with. Yeah. With the young person thing, I just feel like uh, I don't know what I feel. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like people, like where do you like you don't learn it at home typically sex I mean no you don't pornography but well and like school other usually friends, yeah. you know what I mean? like school yeah, and friends sure. yeah school and yeah, friends you have and like porn. A sex, a sure. sex education i mean they show you how to put a you know condom on a banana and all that kind of stuff right and then they like just like okay this is what an std is this is what this std does you know they educate you about all the like dangers and like yeah. you know yeah things which is it. good so like, sexual okay, education now like in that i mean it's there's another chapter under. and it's consent and like what to say i mean Really I, gu I really guess so. Really I guess enough, so. I like I said, we were taught consent in uh, no, we no, probably not at all. Yeah, and, no. and, and at I that level, know. I get that. The not that I wasn't taught like, people. not rape, but I mean, but I wasn't yeah, taught yeah. like I wasn't given a script. Right. I think I think I think you're you're when you read that, mm -hmm. I think you're doing like an okay boomer thing, where you're like really reading into it, even like too much. Like you're like, but no, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm being serious. But actually, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're reading into black and white, and like, oh, these kids and their rules. <laughs> like that doesn't make any sense. And it's like, <laughs> no, they're just, they're just, they're just teaching. Which I'm with you on it sometimes. They're just, yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, with yeah. you on it a lot of times too. But yeah, it, this yeah. just seems like, yeah, you should. This is just some rules for how y how you do some consent, and that's not a bad thing to yeah, show I, some I younger think, people. Uh, no, I get the best argument. <coughs> the best thing I get is like the young person thing. Yeah. I just to me, it's like it's very obvious. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's very obvious for a lot of people. Yeah, and that's why... That's Even why young people. And I felt like once you start, like, saying this, it sets people up to, like, oh, did I ask that? And it kind of takes yeah. an experience away from what sex is to us. Right. And yeah, I but I, but that's but why... I mean, I, like, I mean, like, I'm not saying... I don't know what kind of Casanova you were when you were, like, a yeah. teenager. No, I <laughs> like, wasn't. I wasn't a I mean, Casanova. Like, you know, like, yeah, you're yeah. already, like, kind of tripping <coughs> over yourself and, like, yeah. you know, whatever. So, like, oh, adding 100%. one, like, step in there where you're like, uh, can I have sex with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, you're just surprised that they're, like, taking their shirt off. You're like, oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's how I was 100%. <laughs> <laughs> like, my first... Yeah. All my sexual experiences when I was young were awful because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But you know what? Maybe if I replay my sexual experiences and it was just, like, a woman where he, she even knew. She went, hey, do you want to have sex with me? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. I don't have to trip over anything. Yeah, but I guess... She, she took control? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying if that oh, was if like... Oh, that's what it was? That was like oh. there was some kind of uh, teaching going yeah, on. Yeah. And then the, even the woman said, do you want to have sex? Or like I said it, and it, she said yes. I probably would have still been too scared. Like when I was 18, because no Casanova. 
But no. like, I don't you, think anybody's real Casanova. That's when they're the whole 18. point, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like this maybe removes a barrier or some kind of like of the clumsiness, even though it itself is a little clumsy. I yeah. will admit, but yeah. but maybe a little clumsy phrase takes away a lot of other. It's other sincere, clumsy stuff. and I I get Aww. it. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I like that. That's yeah. a cute way to put it. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. That. yeah, yeah. I, hope I so. guess I, hope I guess what I was reading it is similar, kind of what you were saying with the OK Boomer thing, where I'm like, I don't get what's going on here, but I still get. In this like weird climate that we're moving into, where like everybody's very sensitive of how they talk to each other, especially between men and women, I feel like this was another layer of that where it's it's taking an experience away of learning something about each other when like you're thinking about a script. Right. And I feel like sex is so important to us. It it <coughs> once you get that into I just because I like to me it's like consent is like uh, you should talk about consent. Yeah. Yeah. And reading the room, and I think that's what they were attempting to do. Yeah. But I was reading the script and stuff like that. I just feel like this is not how normal people talk. This see, but, is not see, how but, people but talk. But then you read it, and I was like, I can think of ways that are very close to that that I've said. Yeah, let's, let's try it out. Because, but nobody yeah. here, wait before 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 you read it. <laughs> Give me some lines. In my mind, I don't even remember what they were. But you know what I do remember? Consent, and that's all I know. Yeah, that's all I know. Consent. That's it's all I remember. That's, that's, that's all I remember. And that's that's uh, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that I'm not all. saying there should be no consent. Because no, but I don't, don't even don't talking about. Consent. I don't think people are going to say the script. I think they're yeah. just going to remember this consent thing. And that's that's. I think that yeah. just is the bottom line. But like I just I maybe this is a different point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a way to teach consent. I mean, yeah, nobody's going to remember the script. Yeah, maybe. No, they're just going to remember because the lesson is consent. That's it. That's it. Just That's make sure we're all on the same yeah, page Yeah, which here. is important. And there should be something about consent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's okay. people who have a problem with consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you're like, okay, now whether you use it again. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but see, I, but I just feel... Like it's so funny talking about it because when you even... Oh, I'm not going to use it, but it sounds like if you don't uh, use it, you're like... Yeah, it's, it's that's what, what I'm getting. What sir, what I feel like right now no, this conversation has been I'm anti consent. I'm, no, no, no. But you're, 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 <laughs> and you're I feel <laughs> weird right now. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I think, I'm not. I think you're anti the the scripted stiffness. No, of sex. what I'm anti is like the actual conversation. I, like I wish we could have a real conversation about cons- not real. <laughs> like when you talk about consent, yeah, 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 we could talk about consent and like what it means and stuff. I just feel like when you're putting words like how does that feel? I don't feel like people really talk. Well, like let me that. let me give you an example. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a real life example. Sure. Myself, which was which I thought was very sexy. What was that? I was texting a girl. Yeah. And we we're being very sly in our text. Right. And then she was like, "I'm gonna come over," and like, but she didn't say anything. And then she yeah. said, after that, she said, "Just to confirm, I'm gonna come over and you're gonna fuck me." Right. And I was like, confirmation. Or she said, "Just to be clear, I'm yeah. gonna come over and you're gonna fuck me." <laughs> and I said, "Well, well clarity." Is right. nice and clarity is actually very sexy, and that was actually very clarity sexy thing to that's say. I actually yeah. don't. I think that's the exact opposite of what they're trying to say. Really? What? Because <laughs> if a g- what? no, 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 seriously, seriously, that, no, but seriously, was like no, no. That, I mean, now, now, flip it around, flip it around. If you yeah. went to, I, I feel like girl. they would argue if you texted a girl and said, yeah. "Oh, just by the way, I'm coming over and you're gonna fuck me." Yeah. Even if she said yes, they're gonna look at that a little bit differently. Almost like a power move, which they could really? do. No. Well, well, okay, I don't feel no, like that's I, a consent okay, I thing. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. Now, to go back to, if you put that down on a script and it comes down to the read, right? I, you know, and you exactly, you put it in a man's in a man's lips. Okay, yeah. I want you to come over here and fuck me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, I mean, like that can that like there's so many things in there. I mean, like, yeah, what's yeah. your relationship with this person? How long have you 100%, known them? 100%. You know what I mean? And so I mean, like, so if you've known them and you kind of have a, a a relationship, yeah, yeah. right? You know, you can say that to somebody. It's like I want you to come over here. Fuck me, yeah, you know yeah, what right. I mean? And implying that over, over text, yeah, they're gonna right. be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna go over there." And yeah, fuck but, yeah, that, yeah, but, yeah, but, but that's what I'm. S- now, yeah, if yeah. you do it yeah. to uh, someone that's like you don't have the relationship <laughs> with, and it's like hardcore rapey, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. But, but like, did you have a relationship with that girl? Get yourself yeah. in, uh, did you have a relationship with that girl? Yeah, you had to have. Had to have. Yeah, yeah. No, you didn't. It was. No, you had a relationship with it? It was pre-established. Oh, like like a gr- oh. boyfriend girlfriend yeah. you mean or do you mean Not like a No, like no, a no. previous a, yeah, thing. previous. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's a little bit different. Yeah, no, yeah. that's this guy's game. I like, thought yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> within six texts, baby. Yeah, <laughs> she texts me every time. She's an eight texter. I'm going to text a girl eight times. She's I over. Thought, I just four texts. Yeah, no, but yeah, yeah. like to me that's not like But no, but I yes, pro- I found asking. I found the the clarity of it was was very sexy. Oh yeah, 100%. I didn't find cuz cuz what I'm saying here, what I'm saying is they all you you don't you don't know the script. You just know be clear. Just to be clear, this is what's happening. And that I found that sexy. I didn't find it stiff. Because no. I think what I'm saying is you're reading too black and white into the script. I'm saying there's a way to do it. It's yeah, very sexy. I, which I agree. Very smooth. C- consent is the most important thing to <laughs> sex. I know. 100%. I know. So there has to be a way to and figure I'm not, out consent. And I'm not saying you're anti-consent. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying you're yeah, anti yeah. that script. 
and but you're reading too much into the script, you can yeah, ignore the exactly. script. Ignore the script. The, ignore the, the script. The, the lesson is, the sc- is the lesson is consent. Yeah. If you learn consent, yes, keep <laughs> moving on. Move on. Yeah. Right. Well, Got I it. guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. the script. Let's. Yeah, let's. Like, I just. Like, <laughs> I just need to. It actually. It actually. And, I, and, I, and I'm from the anxiety point of view. Yeah, people yeah. who've never had sex. I right. think that's actually a, a great thing for them just to confirm we're all on the same page because it is. Oh, yeah. It is horrible and, and and awkward already. So to get that is actually I think less awkward. Yeah. The first time you have Again, sex I, I, is not. I, I mean, good I, or I, fun I, I, I don't or think it's fun, but in a very anxious inducing way, and it's like that's one less thing to worry about. I think. Yeah. Just get that out of the way, and now we both know we're on the same page, and now yeah. we're gonna have an awkward, weird time. Yeah, I, I, I guess like you're reading it out. Like to me, when I was reading it, it, it was f- it was reading how men should talk to women, not how women talk to men. But I and think so that's that why that's why I use my example. I think it goes. That's no. A great I, way I'm for sure women it even should go up. that way, yeah. but I, the way I was reading it was like this is how men should approach women. Right. And I was like, I don't think that's which how makes me think that you're reading it person. immediately. From like a disdain point of view, or they're telling me well, how I should have no, but sex. Like a, no, but no, but it for sure matters. Like, like I said, like if I flip that, or if if a, if you heard a woman said that to a guy and a guy said that to a woman, there would be a difference. Well, that's why it's read the room. It's like that. I'm not saying don't now. Don't listen to my script. No, but it's not. It's not just about my yeah, script. No, it's not just about reading the room. The script doesn't matter. It's not just about reading a room. Like yeah. the genders matter the script, in that situation. No, a script doesn't matter. The point is right that it was a very sexy way to ask for consent. Right. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point I'm making. Uh, you can do it very sexily, sexily, sexy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, there's a there's still a difference there to me yeah, that yeah. I, I don't know how to well, articulate you, like, that I'm not trying to say. But well, because even before like this script was invented, and I mean, and, like, what, yeah. what I'm hearing you correctly right. is that you were asking for consent. Now, were you were you using those exact phrases? No, 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 no. But you yeah. were like, you know, using consensual uh, triggers and moves to like right. then yeah. like yeah, hundred your sex life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, 100%. I mean, like, that hasn't changed. I mean, we're still doing the same thing. No, but it has yeah. changed. It, that, that's the difference. The climate we're in, it, it, it really has changed. Oh, okay. And so when I was reading it, I'm reading it in the climate that we're in yeah. where it's it's y- taking away the excitement you're, you're, from sex. You're, you're reading it in an anti-social justice where... Not anti, even. Anti-way. Yeah, because that's why I was saying... That's you why I was don't saying think, you think you it has any it. element of that? A- any of what? The element of... Of course it does, but I'm, I'm, that's what I'm I think, saying. But I'm saying you're reading in an anti. You started from this anti-social, but, like but oh, it, but that's asking it, for consent, so it's so stiff, and and then it, you read, you had that perception. You can't admit that it has some of that in there, and me not see it. For me to notice it is not a problem. I didn't think so. I actually thought. Well, that's what I, I asked actually you. was. I thought they were surprisingly not stiff, and that's why I was laughing at the very first few, where I was like, well, these are these are but fun. Yeah, yeah. But this comes back <laughs> down to the read. So I mean, so right, if right. you say it and your intention, but if you just read it square yeah I no i know that, that they that's probably that's didn't intention, right? and, and, and your intention yeah, yeah. i mean like and if you or if you read that in a courtroom right yeah, you know yeah. i mean like that's you know, why it's say, so you interesting know, say, you know right 100 and, and, and and you know you had that relationship where you're like yeah i'm gonna fuck you yeah 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 fuck a bitch good <laughs> actors <laughs> they're good actors <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah bad actors yeah 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 but if they are a bad actress no no yeah but then john said i want to fuck you and the judge reads that and he's like okay so he said to her i want you to come over and fuck me and she said okay no yeah 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 it's gonna be like that guy's a fucking psycho yeah 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 you're like whoa oh you're yeah you have no you have no so yeah yeah no you're right if 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 so my point is the language was you read that with the judge in mind because you already started from a point of this is gonna annoy me Right. And then you read them stiff, like right. bad acting. You read yeah, them yeah. stiff. Probably. And it, when you go yeah, back yeah. to movies. That's probably right. That's probably the best and point. Actors, yeah, yeah. Good actors can take bad scripts and really bring them to life. Sure. Mm-hmm. Bad stiff that's actors. That's probably the best thing. That, that, yeah. that makes sense to me, for sure. Where well, I read it You read it that stiff way. already, and you went yeah, in yeah. mindset knowing these are going to be stiff and awkward. Right. And so you read them stiff and awkward, and yeah, you're yeah. like, they're so stiff and awkward. And it's yeah. you, the actor. I got to act game, bro. More. Up your game. <laughs> <laughs> I have no game. Challenge, bro. I have yeah. no yeah. game at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, should we close it out? That was a good well, coming around. Do you have anything to plug, Darren? Yeah, plug uh, something plug so away. this doesn't oh. end with Ty doesn't think consent's a thing. No, no, okay, no, no <laughs> just, just to establish, just so I know you're, I think I have your point, was that yeah, yeah. There, is, there is a bit of play in sex. There's a bit of play and yes. assumption in sex. Yes. And that is exciting and fun. Yes. And you don't want stiffness sometimes to ruin that. But <laughs> it's not the stiffness. I think I just want to make something clear. It's not oh the I'm stiffness. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. What, it was, what it was, what I was worried about when I read it <coughs> was that it's, it could set up people for failure. If they, if they feel right. like they have to act a certain way. Right. Besides, like, the consent thing, I feel like most psych non-psychopaths agree that you want the person consent yeah right now yeah. there's probably a little bit of level where 
you don't know if they're consenting or not, which is good to talk about consent. Yeah. But in the climate we're in, <coughs> yeah. I was reading it as it was taking away the playfulness <coughs> by over reaching the consent part yeah yeah mm. that's what i was reading right. into it mm. not right. necessarily that the words were very stiff it was just like right okay so where are we going with this you want everybody to wear suits like everybody just looks the same and we all have to yeah like it that's what i was reading it well the left has their way we're getting there yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> see we should have started with that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but I that's I what i was meaning i was meeting it from but i, I, it from I understand that? your point of view because i've yeah. read them a lot right i read those points of view and it's right. usually older people who right. don't remember what it's like to have that first awkward experience. Yeah. And to me, when I think back to that experience, I remember it very vividly. Yes, and I'm me like, too. I wouldn't have minded if there was a pre-established that you just ask. I wouldn't have minded, actually. I would have been fine. To sure, sure. It might have been a little mm-hmm. bit better or easier. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because yeah. it's if already it, a very it's awkward experience. Exactly. Yeah. So, 100%. So it's not, I don't, I just, <coughs> I didn't read it like, should you find out if somebody wants to have sex with you? It, it'd be yeah, nice no, if I, I could just be like, hey, you want to have yeah. sex with me? That'd be nice. But I guess I read it as in like, make sure you're doing all these, the checklist right. before you have sex. Right. I mean, and it takes away some of the excitement from it. Yeah, and I mean, like, just the idea of, like, you know, that control Not to get back language, into language, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. That is a very scary thing, and it's to, to think that, like, right. that is, like, affecting us. I mean, like, not just with this, but, I mean, you know, in other, you know, facets of, like, controlling our language. Mm-hmm. You're right. not allowed to say this. You can only say it this way or whatever, which, I mean, like, you know, words are going to come in and out of, mm-hmm. like, Vogue and, like, you know, mm-hmm. and should go away. But, I mean, like, you know, all of a sudden, we're saying that they're there. But, I mean, right. um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's weird. You Jordan yeah. Peterson guy? No comment. <laughs> oh, so that's it. Yes. Yeah, I oh, think you you're very right. much. Right? I, I, was, yeah. I have it written down here that you are. Let's talk about it a little <laughs> bit. You wanna, you wanna get, we can Peterson? go. We can go in Jordan Peterson. Yeah, a little sure. bit. Um, because I I do like what some of you says. Where's Jordan Peterson? Yeah, he's gone. Hey, gone. Well, didn't his thing with his wife happen? Wife had cancer. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did she? And then he developed a drug. Then he had a drug. He developed a drug problem with what? Um, that's anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People were really attacking him for it. It was kind of sad. No, but I mean, like, that guy was a workhorse. That, like, 2018, yeah, like, when he broke yeah, yeah. out, like, you know, like... It's, like, fame with that, anyone, that though. That January, February, when that book came out or whatever mm-hmm. it was, and I mean, and he, like, he did so many shows. Like, imagine going, like, he's, like, what, 60-something? Oh, oh, 100%. And I mean, and you go yeah. from zero to that, and you're making all this money, and you're just, like, all yeah. that time and all that energy and all this, like, can you imagine... Every little thing... Every little thing, that, like, every little thing you said, been, like, if somebody didn't, they he was oh attacked all the time. Well, I would think... Have you guys ever had a Twitter storm? Like, have you ever had, like, a... A Twitter like people like come at you, uh, like no, a, not like a storm. I, no, no, I had no. a I had it once. Have you? Oh, did you? Yeah, on Instagram, it was scary. What it was, was it? So oh. scary. What did you post? Yeah, right. what was it? Okay, so it was on the um, no consent ever. <laughs> 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 okay, so I might show my colors a little bit here, but um, is that uh, <laughs> the what the hell magazine is it? Oh, Days and Confused. You know, yeah. you're familiar yeah, with yeah, the Days yeah, and yeah, Confused yeah. magazine, yeah. right? So now I was following them on Instagram. The one day they uh, posted an, a picture of AOC, <coughs> and I was like, oh, and this is right, kind of like AOC's kind of first come up, and yep, I can't remember yep. what she was going on about or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. Lecturing, you know, Thurnberg and whoever. Yeah. And so, anyways, I was like, okay, sorry, days, like I commented, I was like, sorry, days and confused. You know, I just want fashion, I don't want politics from yeah, this right. from this channel, right? Right, right. I, and I'm out. Now, I just was on the bus. I was just kind of like opened up my phone and I, I saw that right away and I, I made the, the comment. I think the post was about for like maybe a minute, 45 right. seconds, right? right? And I kind of only saw that afterwards. Right. Well, right away, Ding, um, Dazed and Confused, mm-hmm. responded mm-hmm. and was like, bye, <coughs> hand emoji, like dot, 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 door. Right. Right. All of a sudden, I got like bombarded with like likes and like right. comments from like, I think it was over a hundred people being like, "Yeah, bye, bitch, get the fuck out of here." This guy's a Nazi. Get him the fuck out of oh, here. Like, yeah, yeah. This guy's a, like, like full on yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was just like, yeah. and they were like, ah, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And so you're like, how do they? You're like, they don't even know me. And I yeah, like, yeah. took screenshots of it. I think I lost that phone, but I was like, oh my god, like, and it affected me. I was like, oh my god, I like hurt, and I'm like, why? Like, these are like, I don't know this person. Like, yeah, yeah. Just because they call me a fucking asshole or whatever, right? Because of like, you know, you know. Like not even 140 yeah, characters. Yeah. What's right. it's, it's, it was like, how, like why is this affecting me this way? It's like, and so you imagine if you have any kind of fame <laughs> right. or any kind of like yeah notoriety or oh, like clout, yeah. and all of a sudden like 100,000 yep. Twitter yeah, followers yeah, yeah. are like, <sighs> oh well, no, for sure. Well, I'd, Fuck, it'd like, be interesting for Jordan Peterson to write like a psychological perspective on fame or and what that does to you, yeah. like that, what that. Because he was yeah, yeah. not famous, and then all of a sudden, almost overnight, he was very yeah, famous. Yeah, it was all that C- C-16 bill that got him. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, like, what does that do to you psychologically? Like, a lot of people totally. go through it, even yeah. w- like in puberty, which is crazy. Yeah. 
and somehow get out. Some of them get out okay. Oh yeah, so like uh, I can't make. But fun I know like for famous people, they generally don't read comments or anymore. Like they very yeah, rarely. They, they, they got over that po- portion. But I've heard a lot of podcasts, like even Joe Rogan or Brent Schaub or something like that, talk about when they would read it and yeah. they notice it really psychologically affect them. So they yeah. just stopped at some point. Yeah. Because yeah. you probably want to say shit. I'll, that's what I would imagine is like, yeah, Chris if somebody Leo said something, I'd want to be like, I'd want to say something. Chris Leo would comment yeah. to people and, and he'd, be like, he'd be like, well, you only have 12 followers and I'd make fun of you and then, and then everyone else would like go after you. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, like, and plus he's like, he's a full boomer. Right, so he's yeah. like, "What's that phone?" <laughs> yeah, 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 for yeah. sure he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, I love that. Like, at least it's like started us talking. You know what I mean? Like just about yeah. like no, I find him interesting. Intellectual for sure. things. I mean, uh, what's his, his uh, view on truth? I think oh, is a little fucked up. Uh, Chomsky. They uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, watched a podcast yeah. with Chomsky, and they yeah. asked him like, "Oh, so what do you think about Jordan Peterson?" And he's like, "Well, and I can't." Figure it off the top of my head, but he's like, yeah. "Oh, there's this one guy. He wrote an article. That's all I got to say about." Uh, Jordan Peterson, yep. right? And I like when sourced out the article. It's pretty easy to find, and this guy just like goes through it, right? Now he goes th- more through the maps of meaning thing, yeah. You know what I mean? And just shreds right. it. And sure enough, like some of those captions, you're like, "What the fuck are you saying, Jordan? Like, yeah. what are you I saying?" Think I, I think I know the like, article. And it's like, oh, you did read, it. yeah. I, and you're yeah, like, yeah. okay, so it sounds smart, but is it? Like, what are you yeah, saying? Yeah. He breaks, right? yeah, he breaks. He, he in think a he's that consent thing, right? It's like, what are you saying? Why are you being such a he weirdo? He breaks into yeah, complexity of what he's saying into like these very basic things that are kind of meaningless. Like they're just like very. Like platitudes that are just kind of like okay, everybody knows that. Like I don't. Yeah, I mean, like, but that's even. Well, why does that annoy you? But that's even as audacious in his. But in, in his his last last book, you know, like ten rules or twelve rules for yeah. life. Right. You know, it's like clean your room. Like it's almost like yeah. the opposite. So he used all those words to explain <coughs> something. Now he's like, ah, clean your room. What right. the fuck does that mean? That of course clean your room. Blah 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 yeah, blah yeah, blah. Yeah. But you're like, no no no. That importance of like you know that thirty day challenge or like yeah, that, yeah. that right, uh, right, like right, that right, right. reoccurrence and just like yeah. those types of things. And so I mean like it's is it saying anything that uh, rich dad poor dad or excuse me um how to win friends and influence people or, or, rich dad, poor or uh, dad. think uh, think and grow ri- yeah. rich or rich dad poor dad yeah. right or any Trump book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, like pre that, I mean, no, he's not. I mean, like he's using yeah. a couple of nor- right. modern terms, all lobsters, this yeah, and that. Yeah. But I mean, right. like you know, like you're right. I mean, he's not necessarily reinventing the wheel. But yeah. I mean, like the fact that he was just such a white hot, like polarizing yeah, yeah, yeah. figure, it was fascinating. It, it was, was fascinating. fascinating. He was actually, fascinating. Speaking, it was it, fascinating, yeah, for sure. I think Jay and I, like Jay and I, had a falling out over it. Actually, I don't know if I can say it all right here, but yeah, it was like really intense, man. Mm. I all I had. All I had com- and it blew me away. It actually surprised me. And this is a very interesting thing about social media. I mean, yeah. that's kind of, I think that's kind of more of a comment on social media and how we're communicating yeah. more than it, more than it is like the you know the actual right. like yeah, symptom yeah. of the of the whole thing. <laughs> but was um like I went and saw him. So oh, he was you? in Calgary, right? Oh, so yeah, I was yeah. pretty excited. You know, yeah, yeah. I went down there, made a really nice holiday of it, mm-hmm. and um and you're like, okay, great, he's there or whatever. But I mean, just like posted like on my facebook like hey i'm going or whatever yeah all of a sudden the like yeah. rage storms underneath yeah, it that yeah. would be like a hundred like comments deep yeah, and yeah. Y- you can know like into the other hundred are just like <coughs> like you're eating popcorn yeah, yeah. like watching or whatever and just watching that kind of breakdown yeah. there's also kind of a first ish like on social media where people are like ah oh, this is like talking politically like on social yeah. media and you're like okay bad idea like yeah, don't yeah. <laughs> don't talk politics on social media yeah. do you know what i mean like it's just oh, like especially like him right like the, there's a certain time if you mention his name, people oh are yeah, gonna and get and on and you. So yeah, so and, and so especially a, <coughs> a guy like that who just gets people white hot. Yeah, yeah. Like and, and you're not even thinking. So yeah, I mean, yeah. so you're just like you're just reacting and you're just like, <coughs> and then yeah, it's yeah. like this the culture war of these like extremes, right? It's like yeah. okay, that guy, the, the ultra hate guy, needs the ultra love guy. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, the ultra love guy is like, well, see, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta neutralize your burn, and like I love him so much yeah, that yeah. I mean, like that I yeah, like yeah, yeah. seen four hundred hours, and you're like, okay, chill. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, the 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 answer is purple. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I you know what I mean? Like, I would be weary of anyone who is ultra loving of Jordan Peterson <laughs> or yeah, ultra hating. Yeah. yeah. Cause I, cause I think both of those probably are symptomatic of you're very lost. If you ultra love, I yep, think I agree. And if you ultra hate, you probably haven't listened to him talk that much. Yeah. You probably have got it from someone else. Yeah. From a third party. Right. Yeah, for, for me, it's like, he just, I didn't, I don't think he was that important of a figure, but I found him very interesting, important in maybe in a movement sense, but not in like a individual sense. Like, cause he represents us something. Yeah, yeah, he important represents something. But yeah. as an individual yeah. person who says stuff, I don't right. know if he's that important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but so, but so to me, it's I almost like went to Vancouver to see him and Sam Harris. <laughs> oh, right. You know what yeah, I, yeah. Right. I would have. You know what? If we ever yeah, yeah. I, I almost wanted to go see that too. Now, yeah. Sam Harris is another one. He's a guy that gets shit on all the time. I mean, like, I'm a big you know, guy, um, I, I like him too. He's a little like he can get a little dry, like listening to him. But I mean, but yeah, but but 
challenging topics. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like really. In but no Christopher Hitchens, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> no he's funny though. Sam Harris is funny. Yeah, he is funny. He's, he's really funny. funny. Yeah, he's great. I wouldn't yeah. say really like, funny. Oh my he's God. really funny. I, mean, I, uh, <laughs> who, I find that really funny. Did you see when he went out Weinstein? Yeah, which one? Who's the portal? Eric Weinstein? That's Eric, yeah. Yeah, Eric. So with him and him and Sam? Yeah, where they talked about... Talk about fucking Epstein. Yeah, they talked about Epstein. They talk about that Epstein. was crazy, that right? Was crazy, where how they right? met? Where yeah. they both met him? Because I didn't yeah. know that. Met Epstein? Yeah, yeah, it was oh. weird. And they were talking about their the time they met him. It was weird. He's like, hey, you like? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're like, why the fuck do you like know? Because apparently, like, the, uh, Epstein was a big science buff. Yeah, and huh. he like and he invested in like science really? projects. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. think like, s- I, like I think Sam and Eric come from like, you know, money ish. You know what I mean? Because they right, right. they're going like private school. They're going to like yeah 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 high colleges, but they're like you know whatever. And so, yeah. So They're you end Jewish. up in the, and you end Let's up just say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the ice. Consent. Yeah. Okay, um, we have consent, uh, you guys. No, yeah. no, no. But uh, you know, like you just like and, and the condensing yeah. people, like you're just like hanging out with people. You know what I mean? Like and yeah. you're just hanging out with other affluent people, and you're like, yo, wait, what the fuck's with it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. can you imagine having that story in your back pocket? You're oh like, man, that like, you were like. In I a met, room I met with Epstein. Epstein. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At a dinner party. And you're like, yeah, yeah. What the it was a cool episode, actually. Yeah, when they talk about that. I like, but so with Jordan Peterson. It's it's very interesting because he gets he's really anti like like uh what's what's the word he uses for postmodernism yeah yeah which kind of plays with this like subjective morality or right. subjective truth yeah yeah, yeah and then, then he gets into this really long debate with Sam Harris about truth about subjective truth and yeah. how there is no real truth and it's like yeah. it's like very that's yeah. what I find he does a lot he he's very yes inconsistent with his yes viewpoints I agree. when I agree. it comes to certain things yeah yeah so and then other things and so it, yeah so and he plays that as weird yeah and I heard this I heard this. Actually, the truth thing was like it was very strange. It was very strange, yeah. for, especially where he comes from. Yeah, with, with a very like weird. with a very factual, scientific like. Yeah, no, yeah. this is the things that women are. Men right, right, are. right. And then all of a sudden, like, like, I have a lot of data, and I only go off data to back it truth up. Truth only is what <laughs> makes us survive, or something. Yeah, it was purposeful. Weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah it it's like truth. It's truthful if it's purposeful, and yeah. it's like, eh, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. that was I think ra- Sam was very shocked too. I think he was like, what yeah. the, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. That was their first one together, wasn't it? Like it was on Sam's. Yeah. Well, so they were on his podcast. They had a whole podcast where they couldn't get above truth. No, so they just they're just like let's establish some preliminary stuff. That was their first one, and then the second one, and, stuff and, and they just could never get past it. Yeah, yeah. And then the second yeah. one, they just they went back they at it, to get, yeah. and then they couldn't do it. <laughs> but even in the debate <laughs> that he had with him in Vancouver and around wherever they traveled, it was Jordan still played this game where he because they were talking about God a lot, yeah. And Jordan wouldn't would play this game where he wouldn't really admit anything what he is yeah. when he thinks about God. It was just this. It's true enough. It's a, it's a word gamey thing. Which I thing fucking where it, hate. Well, that's what it's, it's a word gamey thing where you can't you have a very hard time understanding what his yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what his really thought is. I wish he would just say what he thinks. Uh, he, yeah, he's. But he wants to play that and game it seems, where he's. It seems, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Very long. I don't. I don't know what your. Did you so wa- like? Did you watch his Zizek? Uh, his, uh, you know, his like you know <coughs> that live telecast that they did. I like, think about how much money he made for that. Which like one? He, like when he did the live. Uh, I Zizek. think you were talking about it. Zizek. Uh, Zizek. Zizek is a philosopher that has a big accent and lisp. Oh, yes. I yeah, watched yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really that. like that. Yeah, so in yeah. live, like you had yeah, to pay yeah. like five bucks yeah. and you got to like watch it live for whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like... That was cool. At the very least, I mean, these like philosopher, like, you know, uh, intellectual yeah. teachers, like he's definitely making more than his salary was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Like I was like... Oh my God! Five bucks or what was it? Ten bucks? Yeah. I need to watch well, it. Like, and I do find him fascinating. Zizek was very famous in like 2010 ish. Uh, okay. He kind of dropped I, off. I he was very famous for a bit. Yeah, now he's I running up. Again. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. huge. Uh, and then he disappeared for a bit, kind of like Jordan Peterson in 2019. Just well, he's dropped got, but off. He like, but it's also like you know, how long does it take <laughs> to write a new book? Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, so I mean well, he's so not doing tours, right? Probably because he's just well, dealing with it. Was right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, had imagine that. So, you like, you finished probably I don't obviously know the highest actually. point yeah. of Did your year. No, no, no. no, no. no. Okay. But imagine that. Like, you, like, yeah. you hit. <laughs> Like not yeah, like yeah. you know, and you did become this crazy polarizing figure for a whole year. You're yeah. like, yeah. you know, more than a year. Like I think like, three, and it's a three, love or hate years. thing, right? I think it's a love. Four, no, 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 but I mean, like, but it's still a short amount of time. Short for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially because he's uh, whenever the some year old man. Yeah. Sixteen bill, comes. and then I'll <coughs> that's when it happened. I think like yeah, 2016. Yeah, 2016. I think 2016. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, bang! And then your wife, and then you're like, okay, finish all that. You know, life's good. And then you're like, oh, my wife has cancer. Right. You're like, what is life? <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know it, what I mean? Really like, what is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fuck me up. You know what I mean? So and you're like yeah, in the public eye, this and that, blah blah blah. And I mean, yeah. I think he's just like laying in the guy. He, he's gonna write. I think he's writing twelve more rules. I think that's what they can. Did know. he have a course? He wa- didn't he want to start oh, his university? Yeah, he yeah, did have courses online. I actually yeah, looked at the website. Course. Actually, that's where
I love Prager you and I. Oh, oh I did you see Prager you on Bill Maher last year? Prager you on Bill Maher like shredded him. Oh, I did well, see him. Sh- shout out to Bill no, Maher. Th- this uh, is the th- uh, season yeah. um, uh, uh, opener uh, this Friday. Mm. Oh, uh, for season what is it, nineteen or twenty something yeah. like that? See, Prager you is one of those things where yeah, like they'll. It's like Ben Shapiro to me, where he'll shred you if you're just being dumb. They'll shred you, but. <coughs> They say some shit when they talk about God and stuff like that. Yeah. Where oh, it's just, I, okay. it, it, I, I don't know that stuff. It, yeah. it, it like I'm flips sorry. on its head where they'll talk about very logical things when they're anti-left, and then they yeah. then they suspend it for when they well, talk that's, about. That's, yeah, that's, that's my same bad. thing that's where I'm saying Jordan Peterson. Any, yeah. any, yeah. Like, anyone uh, fuck who you. absolutely hates Jordan Pearson, right. I'm a little weary of. Anyone who absolutely loves him, a little weary of. Because yeah. it's like you said, purple. It's, it's purple. So yeah, Prager U is kind of like it's not purple. It's They are also the other way, and some things are going to hit Yeah. if you're purple. Right. Yeah. Because right, right, you're gonna exactly. Be like, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. be like some things are like, yeah, you're because they're right about something. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Sure. <laughs> It's yeah, kind of yeah. like where we got the title arrogantly in the middle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. That's where we purple. got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what was I gonna say? Uh, speaking <coughs> of Prager, but more particularly, yeah. um, the big white guy. But he did that movie, No More Safe Spaces, with uh, Adam Carolla. Did you guys watch that? No, no I haven't. I haven't no. watched it either. I, I know Adam. I know Adam Carolla's big podcaster when the originals OG the OG, OG, OG yeah OG. And he's maybe very, the uh, o- maybe the I hear OG. I think Bill Simmons yeah. always talk about him about how he uh talks about the left and shit like that yeah, he's, he's very moved. anti-social yeah, yeah. period so that's, but what, that's, that's what, what I, I found I don't interesting about people well I don't know but the left has moved you know what I mean like yeah. that's how that's I feel true. that's true. I'm 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 still a leftist I mean me I, too. I was yeah. like if, I, if you gave me a, a test right now I bet you'd come out like uh center left you know what I mean yeah yeah I mean but like I woke up one day like Jordan Peterson, yeah. you know I mean, red pill, whatever you want to call it. I mean, like <laughs> zeitgeist Trump, whatever. You yeah. know, I kind of like look, brought my head up, and all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> Space wait, Force. where is everybody? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm I like, agree. Where the hell is everybody? Wait, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm alt right now because like I like. No, I understand. That's that's what? where. Yeah, that's where like, you get. We talk about like, this. Like, yeah. That's when you get this like crazy separation where, because I'm I'm the probably the main non, in line thing I have is free speech. Generally, yeah. I'm which is a conservative I'm for anti deplatforming right. stuff like oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Um, I like but, ideas, but can you I think like of another ideas. conservative opinion you have? <laughs> I can't think of one conservative okay, well, opinion I have besides free speech. Conservatives always lose me on a, on abortion. I mean, like it'll start. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Then they get to abortion, and I'm like, I can't ride with you guys. Yeah. I you're, can't you're, ride with you. You're pro choice. You're pro choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but can you think of a conservative view? Oh, conservative. Oh, I mean, like you agree with? Think liberally or no? Act liberally. Think fiscally. I mean. Um, gun. Oh, gun control. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think we should have like more guns. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Or access. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I think there's only one country in the world that has a problem with guns. That's true. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> the most liberal country with guns. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was actually kicking the tires on moving to Houston. Last Were you? Year. Yeah. I was, really? I was, Why? I was, I was, well, I mean, open carry. Guns? Oh. Okay. And uh, and I wanted somewhere with uh, professional uh, sport teams. Mm. That's a good to go see. Yeah. I that's true. I would really love to live in the states I'm just not, for sports teams. Like right I'm a big now? New York sports fan. Oh, you are? Yeah, big New York sports fan, and oh, it right sucks. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> cruel, I'm sorry for the last you're like ten years. Saddest man on earth. My whole life, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the last the whole 20. life. Yeah. What were Knicks? I'm a good? Knicks fan. Oh my god, I saw a meme the other day where the Knicks, like you know, guy makes a half court shot. Yeah, yeah. He wins a thousand dollars in scratchers. I saw it mid five sixty. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. Yeah, like, what a shitty GM. <laughs> like, you, you did more work. Just give me a thousand dollars. Why'd you go buy something? Just give me a thousand dollars. This is Madison Square this Garden. Is, no, like, yeah. this is the kind of GM moves you're making. Oh. You, that oh, you go 100%. buy lottery tickets for your thousand dollars and you lose half of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of decision making you're doing. That's Dude, I want to talk about the Knicks. Nobody, I want to talk about the Knicks. So made, yeah, nobody, nobody. But Houston though. Nobody made. You just. Uh, well, I was like, I. You a Texans guy? Yeah, I was thinking. You want to talk about that? Well, yeah, a little bit. Do you mind? Can we? No, I was gonna say, do you want to talk about the Texas blowing that shit? Oh, <laughs> the NFL. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Uh, no. Well, you know what though? Okay. Yeah. Are you a Rockets guy? About, no, I want to talk to you about that because I, because I was, um, I usually only start paying attention to the NFL closely, like when it gets to these like quarter <laughs> right, round right. and like and the and the uh, Super Bowl. Sure. But this one particularly, I mean, like the Chiefs. I mean, like Patrick Mahomes. You know, I've been like watching him for like you know, kind of seeing him. You know come to rise for the last year and a half or so right. this guy's a monster so yes. i was like i wasn't even watching the game and i caught the score it was like 21 nothing in the first quarter yeah. started the second yeah and i'm like i wasn't even worried about for K- for uh kansas city no I wasn't for even sure. worried for sure i was like these guys like these guys are gonna like i watched them like score three touchdowns in like three minutes in like what is the oh yeah AFC game like, what I mean. New yeah, yeah. last year i'm like these it's guys, like golden like, state warriors yeah, like, right like it like, doesn't matter so much fire they can put 50 now, points up in yeah, third now, quarter do i know anybody else other than mahomes i mean of course not so i mean right. i'm a bad fan whatever. <laughs> right, right. but i mean like but i'm you know like it's like i i remember like distin
Okay, still in so it. you as still like like not even a real fan just kind of <laughs> get into it in the playoffs, right? So if you're if you're Texans, because this is where they fucked up. So they're yeah, tell me. in their zone. They're in their area or their half. And there's a fourth and one. Okay. Do you go for that to try to hold on to the ball knowing that you're up against the Chiefs or do you kick it away? Well, I mean, in that sense, you should probably go for it. Exactly. They kicked it away and then it fucking started this fucking thing. They, didn't, they wouldn't go for a fourth and one to keep the drive going where they could have just took more time off the clock. Wouldn't matter. They kicked it away and then all of a sudden... Chiefs fucking win the game. Well, I mean, unbelievable. I, I did. I did see the replays of like those first twenty-one points, and they were all defense, weren't they? Yeah. Like there was like an interception. <laughs> Not one guy like blocked the kick. Yeah. Like what? Which uh, never happens. Uh, yeah, never happens. And I'm like, <laughs> and you recovered like, it. Like, you covered it. And you got a touchdown. Yeah, you recovered it. Uh. Got a touchdown. I was, I was thinking about that poor guy. That guy's poor arm. You know, oh, it must imagine, be insane, like, man. Like, you know, inches away from yeah, a yeah. pro football player hitting yeah. a, uh, a football as hard as he can right into your, your forearm. I'm like, it's gonna leave a bruise. But yeah. interesting, Houston as a sports town for you. Well, you like I mean, that was part of it. Do you like the Rockets? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the rock. I like I like the Rockets. I mean, James Harden's interesting. Who I mean, like having a Westbrook there is interesting. I mean, they're they're. I love their owner this year. I mean, shout out to uh, you know the uh, that the China comment. I mean, it was the, oh, the GM, yeah, yeah, yeah. the GM. Sorry, yeah. um, but it all, that almost <coughs> turned me off the NBA. Because, but I'm glad of uh, Adam Silver. Yeah, LeBron almost fucked that it. up for you, eh? Yeah, but people forgot with yeah, him man, I, three I, days. Yeah, it's true. Not me, man. They, me, they did, but I'm like, I, I don't know. It, it, I, kinda, so I got a little Silva reflux on it still. Yeah, I, got I don't know. I don't like. Oh man, I don't remember my team. So no, Adam Silver fucking saved that shit. People aren't talking about like like Colin Coward, like who I like one of the guys. Everybody forgot. Like nobody's talking about the NBA right now. I mean, it's also mid season. Nobody's talking about NBA. No, he's talking about my NBA bubble. I don't know. And it's like they are no, me too. I I listen to it all the time. (laughs) Yeah, I'm like it's everywhere. I'm in a bubble, so I yeah. All I hear is I just heard Conor McGregor talk about LeBron. Oh, who's watching the game or who's watching that fight? Oh, 100. percent I'm so excited. Who do you got? Who do you got? Everybody has Conor, bro. I don't. Very close. What do you? How do you know? How do you have? How do you have Cerrone? What world is Cerrone good? I don't he even is, know. No, I, he's, I, he's I like two and in, in four. Uh, is he got a new tattoo on his stomach? <coughs> I don't know. I, didn't I see take anything. him. Uh, I think I think you could win like a hail mary there, but but uh, I think I think Cerrone, everybody's got Connor. Cerrone's not even close to Connor's level, and he's like a normal one fifty five er. So it's like yeah. it's, it's kind of like a Nate. But what's Connor's level now? Well, that's the thing. You don't know. One seventy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're fighting at one seventy. Yeah. Like when's the last time fights at one fifty five? Yeah, he's fought three. Only one fight. They're fighting at one seventy. Only yeah, one seventy. Yeah. That's rough for Connor, I think, isn't it? Well, it's they're both 155ers, so it's like yeah, they're so both. Oh, I thought I thought Cerrone was up a little bit. <laughs> He's much bigger than Connor. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's he has probably a much harder time making 155 than Connor does. Right. But they're both they both fight at 155. Hmm. They just both don't. He's like Connor's like, I don't really want to cut weight, and then I it seems like a hard time for Cowboy. So I don't. He's like I can beat I can beat Cowboy with the flu. Like it doesn't matter. I know Cowboys are in, man. I did you see like I mean the whole Cowboy Steve <laughs> like now starting to like hit our own Edmonton streets. Like, like the party that I ran into you at there. Like, that you see sucks, all those, like, those cow folks like like uh, hanging oh, out at I don't, the. I don't remember the show. Yeah, I don't remember the that cow sucks. folks. Well, it's like no, they ha- they did the full <coughs> on like uh, what's his name with the mask. You know who's like. Oh, the first the Zorro? first guys. Yeah, oh yeah, they're right, they they're all in Cowboy Getup. The yeah, first, the first. Like that is, but I mean, oh. you weren't there. You weren't. Be, but you didn't see the band. The first band was all in cowboy getup. Oh, were they? G- yeah, oh. so that's why who you saw. Uh, they was, they was there, part it's a performance. Band. Yeah, the performance. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. But they were like dancing in the uh, in the dance floor and everything. And he had the whole, okay. So that yeah, because they were first, right? But so they're 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 two two bands ago. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, hot take. If the if the cowboy trend, you know, Lil Nas X, you know, or yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Okay. Where did it all start? Is um. The Lady Gaga album, where she's wearing the cowboy hat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't the know. The I even know that. You know that? Yeah. I, th- I think oh. it starts there. I think it starts really? there. Really? Yeah. You think she's gonna she start this up. cowboy friend? No, she started it already. Oh, did like she? Like that, that, that's I haven't like noticed this, this though. This little Nas X, like you know, like a bat- butterfly and you know, flapping its wings in Brooklyn, like yeah. causing yeah, 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 over yeah. here, is that that Lady Gaga album started all this little Nas X, all this Orville Peck, but you all think this like country, this resurgence, like this hip country resurgence. It. it from there. You think it's gonna stick though? I don't think it's no. Gonna of stick. course not. It's gonna stick. Oh, I mean, okay, like, okay, no, okay. Like, yeah. like I thought you were saying it's gonna stick. Trend. It's gonna be here for another two, but three no, but years. It, I, think it's I don't even think it's really here. I no, just feel I like there's a song here and there no, that no, comes I out. I mean, yeah. there's a country band that was playing at uh, uh, Empress. You know what I mean? That's not that unheard of. But I right. mean, I don't know. You, it's 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 not overt. I mean, I'm not saying yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's gonna go full hipster where you're gonna be seeing people in like stats and and Wranglers and whatever. Cowboys, right? But I mean, but yeah, the the Polish thing from before, from like two years ago, there, whatever. Yeah, the big the, or the prairie, hats. whatever those things are called. Yeah, oh, dusters. Fun. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. But that kind of shit, like, you have to be, like, a celebrity to get away with. Like, I don't think, like, some hipster is going to start wearing a cowboy hat around here. 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like cowboy celebrities do that. Shit. Hats, hats, if anything, are going to be in. But you think a cowboy hat will be? Cowboy hats, if anything. I feel like it'll if be anything like of cowboy stuff. Bell bottoms will come back. Dude, after you know cowboy hats. I did a babushka. My friend Corey Arnell, he's pretty big in the fashion. Shout out Corey. He wears a lot. He likes cowboy boots. Yeah. Well, I feel yeah, like yeah. he just. Uh, I think, like it's, I it's think you're right. I think there's a little, a little slight element. Uh, I, like I haven't seen it. Maybe that's why yeah. I just uh, haven't really you, seen it. Wait, now you're gonna see it everywhere. Yeah, or maybe. Or maybe it's just one of those things that you know, once you you, you know about, it, and that's where I'm in. I'm just in this like, oh my god, cowboys are everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 like say, I haven't really like, seen I'm that. I'm in surreal world right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in surreal world. Surreal yeah. world. Like yeah. cow- <laughs> surreal cowboy world. Yeah. There you go. It's infected you. Okay, I gotta take a pee. Yeah, me too. So okay, can I? Oh, do you want to pause? No, you you say whatever you want to say. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, I just want to shout out. So. Thank you very much, you two, yeah. for uh, having me here because uh, it was a great day. Yeah, um, thanks for coming. We actually, uh, today, um, we're close the deal on MinBid, working with the AGA nice. for the uh, end of summer party on August 28th. Woo! So, um, yeah, it's our first time working with the AGA. And yeah. Good for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so we're going to do uh, Paint Nasty 2. Um, last year, the Paint Nasty uh, 1 was a huge success. Yeah. It's a, a multi-artist uh, paint battle um, <coughs> and you know, oh wow. DJs and uh, dancers and, and uh, event. But now we'll be taking yeah, it the from AGA. the old uh, vignettes and to okay. uh, the AGA. So, I mean... You guys are both going to be there. VIP access, obviously. Yeah. Um, 100%. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. Plus, I mean, all the Got other uh, four or five though. events. Our first one it will be coming up in uh, April, probably around March, April. Yeah. It's just going to be our um, uh, wet paint uh, ev- uh, art show. Have you guys been to a wet paint I yet? I think so. I think I've, been so one. I've never been to one. No. So wet paint is our very first show that we kick off the season with, and it's a sex show. This one's going to be our third one, so it's going to be triple X. Ooh. Big titty bitches. <laughs> There better be, or I'm not going, or I am not going, <laughs> and so, so that's uh, as they that say in the uh, uh, wait a second, wait porn department, or uh, or uh, Tropic, <laughs> or Tropic Thunder, big fat titties. <laughs> no, we need to actually even talk much about what he does. I I knew you're an artist, but I didn't know oh anything yeah, else. No, that's okay, is that all you do? Uh, just uh, no, like you're um, an artist, just kind of be a bum around. You know what I mean? Just like. Uh, yeah, no, I'm an artist. I mean, I hate I hate saying it out loud though. I mean, it's so oh, weird. Really? You gotta yeah, say it out loud. You gotta, I, you gotta you yeah, gotta you gotta preach it until it becomes yeah, the life. Right. You know, that's right. And it, and it's on you know things like this that'll help me. You know, kind of because if you tell everyone, people. they're like, "Oh, I know a painter. I got this opportunity." Maybe I'll I just mean it, when, yeah, when yeah. I say like, "Is it what you do?" I just mean like uh, <laughs> for a living. That for a living. Oh, for a living. No, yeah, I yeah. mean uh, I'm in marketing for. Uh, for oh, a living. okay. Um, which has been good. I mean, I know I get to do a little bit of writing, a little bit of photography, and just like more of a controlled kind of environment but i kind of like that too you know what i yeah. mean and um i've been at a bit of an incubating stage but i mean um like i mean also with art i mean like is with events so minbid is uh minbid art auctions and so what we do is uh, pop up art auctions and we do about five events a year oh, so cool. i mean so um and there's about <coughs> five of us and the main uh on the board and right then we've like you know um enlist a small army of like uh, local um emerging and uh, established artists right and so so it's yeah, it's, it's and we just kind of take over a spot. We sell a bunch of our, and then uh, and get that out of there, and then everybody has a blast doing it. That's cool. So, um, yeah, we did six shows last year. Normally we only do five, and uh, I don't know, I felt like we were just jogging. Like just, just jogging, jogging it's easy. Bit. Yeah, really? no, but I mean, but uh, life gave us a few couple. Uh, um, we uh, our uh, our fearless leader. He's uh, moved to Vancouver now. He did. Um, so we're gonna have to uh, calibrate that. Um, you fly him out for the AJ oh one? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. No, for all of them? All of them. Yeah. All of them. No, we can't have. We can't. And we got have VIP access. <laughs> uh, at, uh, at, the, uh, at every single one, of course. No. <laughs> at every single one, of course. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Keep 20 it sharp. Twenty twenty. Good for you, man. You're Congratulations. VIP. You're the VIP at the at the min bid for these boys. Arguably in the middle. Um, and then uh, yeah, or whatever. My Instagram, if you want to look at whatever I'm posting. And I'll post that in the comments. Yeah. yeah. Can you post that in the comments? And then other than that, yeah, just look out for min bid events. It's going to be crazy this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks, boys. Thank you. No worries, bud. Good night.